All right, ready? Hello, hi YouTube in the future. Hi to chat right now. It's kind of loud. How you doing? Welcome back. Let's start the last DLC, Blood and Wine, today. I'm nervous. I don't want the game to be over. I know this will take a while, but thank you for being here. Welcome. We just finished Hearts of Stone last time. So now we're going to try Blood and Wine. Let's get in the game. So, yeah, we just finished Hearts of Stone. We, um, Olgierd lived. I helped him to not die. And we defeated Odim by doing the puzzle and now we're just hanging out on this cliffside. It looks good. Good. Hello, David's mother. How are you? Thank you for being here. Thank you for existing. Wow, it's beautiful. Wait, I'm nervous. Okay, what do we even do? Okay, we have to look for a new contract. Oops, I gotta turn off this keyboard. Everything looking and sounding okay? I know I haven't done anything yet, but... Hi, Soupy. Okay. Anything else I wanted? I feel like I should have given him the... Oh, yeah, we should go do the startup cost for this because we never did it and I forgot. So finish that real quick. Well, I guess that's not really... I don't know what's going to happen. So I guess I should just go do that because I forgot. Uh, thank you. Well, you're welcome. Thank you for being here. Quick, yeah. Actually, I don't know what that's going to do. So, maybe we wait on that. Also, where can I teleport here? I have 10k, yeah. I'm level 37, almost 38. Oops. We'll just do that later. If we feel like it at the end. I want to go start blood and wine. <laughs> I'm going to go do that. We'll do that. We'll do that later. If I feel like spending 5k. I don't know how to get out of here though. Oh, this is so beautiful. Yo, break, relax. Get a job. All right, this is just gonna be any notice board in Velen. That's why my notice boards have been yellow for so long. How can we, I guess, we'll just go out the long way. Actually, I don't know how long it took to get in here. Oh, I love this music. Oh, freak. I did. I finished Gontro Dim. I finished Hearts of Stone. Ow! Ow, sorry. I did. Well, I don't know if I killed him. I just, like, defeated him in the puzzle. So I don't really... Um, I liked it. It was... I feel like, I'm not gonna lie, the wedding part dragged on a little bit for me. It was funny at first, and then I felt like it was kind of exhausting. And then, I mean, I wasn't like romantically interested in Shani at all, so I feel like the game was really trying to get me to be with her. But I just wasn't feeling, we were just friends, so that was fine, but okay, we might as well just go check these. We'll just check these on the way as we run see what it is um yeah he didn't die but he was just like banished or something yeah whatever um but i liked it i really loved the darkness of it and the sad story of it and Olgiard and uh why can't i remember her name their love 
Ew, I don't want to kill you. No, so annoying. All right, I guess it's a good warm up. Yeah, I really, the wedding was like, kind of dragged on, I'm sorry. It, it was fine, it was just like, I was also kind of just not feeling that good that day anyway, so. But I just was like, geez, I don't want to keep being this guy, he's kind of an asshole. Like the guy who is, what's his name? Olgaard's brother. Which one do you know about? Olgaard's love, I forget what her name, Iris? Yeah, I really liked Odim though, he was so cool. Um, but yeah, I feel like, oh, you're, oh yeah, Vladimir, I think Vladimir was kind of exhausting and not my favorite character. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, he let him possess him and I felt like he just was such a jerk. And like, oh my god. So it was mostly funny, but yes, Baker, they go over that like 20 times in the quests. What am I doing? I forgot how to play this. No, I did like not being Geralt. I thought that was funny and fun, but he was just like overall kind of exhausting to me, I think. Yeah, I don't remember seeing him at the beginning. I'll have to rewatch and see. But it's, I know they said that a million times. Oh my goodness. Le, 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 le. Never mind. Rude. Okay, I'm gonna die to Neckers. That's so embarrassing. We're not la 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 la. I know, he really thought he was God to give to women, and maybe, like, I feel differently about it because I am a woman, so maybe it's like. It just depends on who, like, who's playing. It might feel like that's kind of cool too, because that's how lots of quests and choices are different to everybody. So characters can definitely feel different to different people, depending on our life experiences, you know. Yeah, we're making our way to start blood and wine. We just have to kill these idiots. <laughs> hey! Show me what you got. Shit. Oh my god. What? Hi, Tompy. Can't stand the guy, yeah. Thank you, Jake. I forgive you now. <laughs> Get out here! Thank you for dying. Okay, can I just blow this nest up and go? Lay, 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 lay. Mm-hmm. All right, let's -a go. We want to go down to Down Warren. Why not just check that and then down there, and then we're there. Oh, do I have to? Never mind. <laughs> That's why everybody's like, "There's so many question marks," and I'm like, "Yeah, because frick that, frick that. I'm not, I'm not doing another monsters nest." Hi, Rochi. Or more Move it. of these idiots. Get me out of there. No, please. Wait, what is this actually? It's kind of cool. Ooh. Okay, um, I'm not sure, Roach. I'm not go, sure what go. the problem is here. Go. Lay, 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 lay. Remember when I just discovered that you could just hold down run and it will follow the path for you? I swear old Roach didn't do that. This is a new Roach thing. It's gotta be. 
There's no way that I, that, cause I definitely tried to do this. Like, there ain't no way. Oh, never mind. You're not turning. Okay, okay. Come on. So it doesn't really follow the path. It just follows like the path, you know, not the path. So, you know, it follows the path, but not your path. Why am I doing this? I played the beginning of Cyberpunk when it came out, but I was underwhelmed. Appeal to Sir Geralt of Rivia. The bridge his crest. Geralt of Rivia, at the behest of wow. our merciful She's sovereign. Thanks, Radio. <laughs> we didn't even hear that. So sad. At the behest of our merciful sovereign, her illustrious grace, Anna Henrietta, we have journeyed to the northern realms to lay before you our mission. A terrible monster has appeared in the Duchy, Duchy? Duchy of Tissant, a beast that has committed heinous crimes against her grace's subjects. Only the most famous among witchers has the ability to destroy the beast. Thus we humbly beseech you to appear in the village of Holloway where we shall await you in full hope that you will deign to hear of our woes and liberate our land from the clutches of fear. <laughs> Douchey. Your humble servants, Sirs Pal Palmerin de Lonfel and Milton de Peyrac Perrin, knights in the service of her grace and the Douchey. <laughs> Why are you crying? All right, so now meet the knights from Toussaint in Holloway. Where the heck is that, up north? Oh, right there. Connie of the Goose. Okay, I'm gonna go to my stash real quick just to put away some stuff because, I, I mean, I'm sure I'll have one there, but just in case we need a little extra space. Go to Crow's Perch, why not? Easy peasy. Rietta. Honorton, I don't know who that is. I'll tell you. So you're a man I'll tell you you you're about to tell one. <laughs> Bless you. Pam Pam. Pam. Bellin is pretty. I don't know what y'all talking about. Okay, get this out of my inventory. I can't even wear this for another level, so we'll just get Viper later. Just remind me, I stored it away. What the hell is that doing there? I'm selling that. We'll save the other new moons just cuz. Wait, am I already wearing? Oh, I'm wearing woven. Okay, new moon, new moon. We don't need those. What are they doing? Honestly, I like Unvik, but I'm not going to wear it anytime soon, so... Why is that in my inventory? I don't know. I'm also not going to wear that. I'm not going to wear Unvik right now. We're going to sell that in a sec. What's this? Ornate. Okay. Um... Those are Unvik. We'll put those away too. Even though I kind of like those. Put those away. We'll just keep our Witcher gear. We'll sell those. We'll keep those because they're pretty. What? I don't know what these ornate boots are. We'll put them away. Who did that? Tiny Man Jake, thank you. Welcome back. Thank you, thank you. I feel ready. Let's go see. Okay, I don't know why this is still actually yellow. Whatever. Lift all those clothes. Hey, I'm holding them. Leave us be, we beg you. Why? We ain't in need of no help. You have suffered enough. Thank you. Enough break. Fear not, for we shall Got a lump of bread today. Outlaws, but you we grant liberation. 
Oh my gosh, look at their outfits. What's oh my god. Hunger's turned this one oh pale. Geralt of Rivia. Hello. Ha! Sit with us, Witcher. I have unlocked Hattori, yes. Found your message on a notice board. You see, Palmerin? I told you. Like the music. The griffin at White Orchard. I knew that were we only to follow the tracks of its slayer, we would in the end find Geralt. Milton de Peyrac Perrin and Palmerin de Lanfor. Good to see you both. Been years. Be assured, we share your joy. You must forgive us our, uh, surroundings. When we pledged to place the village under our protection, the village elder gave us this hut as our lodgings. He swore it is the best hut in the village. Get involved in some squabble? We discovered that in retreating, the Redanian garrison that left this land's tillers at the mercy of numerous plagues. A tyranny of bandits, the most onerous among them. These plunderers shall soon descend on this village to collect tribute. Milton and I will dissuade them. We are both sworn to fight injustice and oppression wherever they rear their heads. The matter does not concern you, of course, but do us the kindness of waiting. Once we have dealt with these marauders, we have a matter we must present to you. Well, let me help you. Go to these bandits, the worst ones will come and to replace them. Honestly, kind of true. Mm. Hello, Jacob. Heck yeah. Let's see. What do we want to do, girl? I mean, I could help you, but are the more going to come? Worst ones will come in. Um, honestly, I just feel like fighting some bandits. So, plan to go out and meet the bandits when they arrive? Fight them? Palmerin wishes first to appeal to their sense of decency. Perfect. <laughs> Love I that. expect they will be deaf to this. Yeah, completely. We must afford them a chance to stand down. Yes. Many a hardened outlaw has left the path of wrongdoing upon hearing words of admonition. Doesn't happen in these lands. Ever. If they do not heed my reprimand, we at least will know we have done all within our means to evade bloodshed. Fine. I like that. Naturally, I'll help when Palmerin's rhetoric falls on deaf ears. Excellent. Then we've but to wait for the rogues to arrive. Things are coming! Hear that? Your bandits have arrived. Let us go out to greet them. Kitty. Surely they'll just talk. Stop it. Hark! Contemptible cars! Yo, I love these guys. <laughs> he mean us! I, Palmerin de Lonfall, call upon you to repent. Search your hearts. Do you not see that they are blackened? <laughs> Regular punch and duty here. To prey upon commoners is no honor. To loot the meager stores, abandon the path of shame, and we will spare you. <laughs> oh God, they are not hearing it. <gasps> Stop it! Right, could jest that. Had us a laugh. Now, fuck off, or we lose our patience, and you lose something else. Nay, <laughs> wait, Zorg. These lads are a lark. Mayhaps they know some tricks. Oi, players! Can you toss balls all loopity like? Or do that thing where one spits fire while the other farts. <laughs> Take my advice. Listen to the Palmerin. Wait, they're the Palmerin. He's talking to them, right? Noble Palmerin's giving you a chance. Yeah. Now I'm going to give you some advice. Do what he says. Or what? Or you'll find yourself fighting knights errant in the pay of the Duchess of Toussaint. And they eat scum like you with their morning porridge. Well, there's three of them. Two turtled up in armor. We'll come back later. 
Some wench sent them. You won't come back. Folk will say we's afeard of wenches and jesters. Well, you Ooh, should be. insulted the Duchess. Yeah. Not good. Not good. Indeed, we cannot let the affront go unpunished. I swear upon the heron you will pay with your own blood. By the crane, villains, ready your arms. Whoa. Well, we tried, guys. Tail if you love the gods. Get him. Come on. We really did try. Conjure this. Oh, I tried to block that because I'm silly. Oh my god. Thank you. Whoa, wait. Oh my god, I forgot this was over here. It's sword. And it did the thing where it turns red. Wait. Oh my god. Wait. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh, you're rude. I gotta read it again to see exactly. Oh, my God. How it works. Come on, come closer. What? How'd that hit me? If I parry? How did I break my shield? Oh, I, he shot me, I bet. What? I can't jump. Well, this sword is strong. I'm feeling strong. Y'all gonna get a kill? Oh my god. <laughs> Why do they not emerge? It is over. Oh my God! The wait, I forgot this sword Lifted takes my health. oppression's home. yoke from their lives. Warned you it'd be like this. Fear you as much as they did the bandits. Now, sorry, no fanfares and flowers. You're not in Toussaint. Ah, uh, it is true what folk claim. In the north, no noble deed goes unthwarted. It is time to go home, and we shall, my friend. I love how they talk. Oh my God! Wait, I Jump forgot. Out. It's time we delivered our message. All right. Oh my god, I'm looking a little sickly. Sly, thank you for that resub. I think I forgot to say thank you. Thank you. So fess up. What brings you such a long way? We are to deliver Her Grace the Duchess's message in full, with all due ceremony. For tradition is sacred in Toussaint. All right, fine. Most honorable Geralt, slayer of monsters and all evils nefarious, which prey on the defenseless of this world. For us, never have you been known to deny help to the innocent, nor leave widows and orphans to fates undeserved. Answer you now our present summons. Free us from the beast which floods our streets with blood and sows panic in the hearts of rich and poor alike. Come to our aid, Witcher. Thus humbly beseeches you the Star-Cross City's most gracious protectress, Her Illustrious Highness, Duchess Anna Henrietta. Okay. Shall you answer her call? She said all that, word for word? Anna Henrietta really say all that, word for word? Well, in point of fact, she okay. said, bring me the Witcher and dare not spare your horses. Only make certain this <laughs> time he comes alone. The Ducal Chamberlain added the rest. What? You know how it is. <sighs> yeah, I remember. 
I might add, be it unofficially, that a hefty reward awaits. Oh? Yet the specifics you will need to verify with her illustrious highness. Okay, tell me more about this beast. Might be the most fervent request that I take a contract ever. And the most polite. And now we've got all that behind us. I want to hear more about this beast. Some kind of monster? Just guessing. Most assuredly, though no one has caught a good look at it as yet. Our only sure witnesses. The bodies massacred in a brutal, horrid manner. Look, some sketches drafted from descriptions given by those who claim they glimpsed the beast. Each quite different. To my mind, these witnesses lie. How many victims so far? Two. When her grace learnt of the second, she discharged us immediately to fetch you, promising grants of land and fortunes in gold, should you answer her summons. An ill wind blows, Geralt. The beast cannot be tracked. Folks say it wields black magic. Ew. Also, both victims were nobly born, and the start of a tourney draws near. Slenderman's so scary. I don't want to fight him. <sighs> beast wields black magic? Beast wields black magic? What makes you say so? The first victim vanished between bites of the feast. Of the feast goers, none noticed this. They saw but an open window, then heard desperate cries from the street below, where a corpse had just been found. The second killing, similar. A knight in a locked room. Serpents all about the house. Guards all around the estate. Yet the beast somehow got him out, dragged him to the town square, and <laughs> killed him there. No one saw, <laughs> no hurt, I think. We have no fear of creatures against which sword and shield protect. But of this beast, nothing is known. Safe that it cannot be traced, kills effortlessly, and with no rhyme or reason we can discern. Has anyone tried trapping it? Anyone tried to hunt it? Knights Errant, for example? Ha! Many have tried. Baiting, waiting in ambush, but to no avail. The beast is clever. It evades all traps and attacks of a sudden. It is like a ghost. An experienced tracker. Mm. This is what we need, with knowledge of monsters. In short, we need you. Okay. Did you say tourney? Mentioned a tourney. Why doesn't the Duchess just call it off? Simply, it is too late. The guests have arrived. The best knights of all lands, relatives of the Fun. Emperor. The beast could be a threat to others, not just to her grace's subjects. Got it. For an aristocrat dies, at best it's a scandal. At worst, a diplomatic incident. So true. All right, I'll take it. Uh, I sometimes think back to all the contracts I've ever taken from sovereigns. Can't name hardly any where I came out ahead. You cannot be thinking to refuse. Ah, no. no. Just struck by a thought. How the Duchess can sometimes be... Mm, ...demanding. So you accept the contract? Excellent! We must set off at once. We long wanted this land searching for you. Yet time is of the essence. Ready to go, soon as you're packed. Ha! Ah, then post haste to Toussaint. To Toussaint! To Toussaint. Hell yeah. Alright, let's get out of Vell and freak this place. Sorry, no offense, y'all. <laughs> or you could turn that down and get all the question marks. That sounds like interesting. <laughs> oh my god, no way that's what it looks like. That's a castle. What is that? Ooh, green. Ooh, blue. Okay, sorry. Oh, I like this music. Toussaint, the land of love and wine. Okay. Exactly how I remembered it. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> it's pretty. Ooh, ooh. You will find Beauclair has changed some these past years. Walk about when you have the chance. You will see for yourself. To me, place always seemed straight out of a fairy tale. Yeah, Knights errant, it. elven palaces. You Dream. insinuate that we are somehow odd? I shall prove you wrong. You are. This I pledge on the heron. Oh my god, I love it. What the hell? Oh. Wow, it's showing me that I'm taking a screen. Oh, shit. Oh 
my god! Get in there. Oh, horsey! <laughs> got an achievement. I don't know why they're popping up now. Oh wait, Steam updated and it's like... Okay, hold on. Stamina. For my lady! Kyo, watch out! My sword! I kill a monster! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. It didn't let me attack there? What the hell? Oi! Oi! <laughs> oh, my name is not Milton the Pirate Pirate! Why is it? My input feels delayed a little. Oh my god, I'm getting destroyed. He's dead. Oh my god, it's so blue and green here. Pretty big beast. Tackling it single-handed? None too wise. Neither is Luff born of wisdom, Witcher. So, Guillaume, out with it. Which fair damsel inspired you to vow to kill that filth? The most beautiful among them. Huh? If he wishes to guard her name a secret, he need not reveal it. You I do not know, sir, nor seem you a knight, yet still I am <laughs> profoundly grateful, nay, indebted to you for your succor. This trophy, My sir, what? is yours. How, uh... How did Giant wind up here? A giant this close to human settlements? Strange. Well, that was no ordinary giant. His name was Goliath. Rumored to have been a knight once, but one who broke his vows. For this, the Lady of the Lake transformed Ooh. him into a wild giant and banished him into the Gorgon Hills. So he came back down? Why? Several times each year, hunger chased him into the lowlands. Goliath had killed and devoured many shepherds. Guillaume's hunt served a noble cause. At any rate, it's a tale for more agreeable environs. All right, I'm glad to take the trophy. I'll take the trophy. Why not? Could find someone who'll pay to buy it. Put up a good fight against the giant. Got experience battling monsters? None. In Tucson, we mostly chase bandits. But I vowed I'd bring my heart's champion the head of a monstrosity, as the famed Gottfried, known as the Giant Killer, did. You don't mean to hunt the beast, I hope. The matter's best left to Geralt. Another challenge awaits me. Yet if Geralt is to hunt the beast, he ought to know. It struck again. Huh? The river oh, surrendered shoot, a corpse. It washed up in the meander by the cockatrice. Damien Delatour's guardsmen are there already, securing the area. Securing the area? Better go there now before they trample any tracks, manhandle any evidence. Set forth then. I shall ride for the city to inform her gracious magnificence that Geralt has arrived. We'll meet later, near Guillaume's tent at the Tourney grounds. I shall take you then to see her grace. All right. Oh my god, the bugs make it sound warm. You know what I mean? Like the vibe, it just feels warm here. And beautiful. Oh my God, level 38, let's go. I don't even know what to wear here. How can I even match them? We'll just wear this. No, we'll wear, honestly, I'm kind of feeling. No, we'll go on this one. Feels too warm. Right? 
Oh my gosh. Pretty. I love how green and blue. What trophy is that? Let's see. Ooh. 5% bonus XP from monsters. We don't need that. We just need gold. I'm glad it didn't auto put it on though. Wow, it's pretty. I like it. It's so vibrant. Can I come in? Oh, okay. <gasps> like the South of France. Oh my gosh. Woohoo! What are we looking at here? Oh my god. Where are we? Oh my god. Oh my god. There's no dust boards. Oh my god, what do we even do? <laughs> what the heck? Oh my god, I want to live here. I'm going to turn up the music a little bit. Follow Milton to the place where the body was found. Yes, sir. I was just looking around. Hey, ya! Uh, brave kid, Guillaume. Parmenin oversaw his upbringing. Guillaume is his kin. I beg your pardon. Mutations in Grandmaster Witcher gear? In Blood and Wine, you can undergo additional Witcher mutations to unlock new capabilities? Soon you'll run to a messenger who will deliver a very interesting letter. Read it and investigate the story of Professor Moreau to learn more about these mutations. What? They say a master craftsman lives in Toussaint who can craft witcher gear from unequal, of, of unequal quality. What's more, you receive a special bonus or receive special bonuses for wearing all or part of a set of this extraordinary equipment. You will not regret investigating these new options. What the heck? Oh my god, it feels so warm. Good evening, I'm off to the bells, quick as a flash. And I, oh my god, we're killing these people. Oh, it's so pretty. Ah, sir. I can't get used to the way you knights talk, especially how you switch back and forth between flowery and, well, near normal. <laughs> knights errant, in the service of her gracious magnificence. When we appear in her name or speak on her behalf, we are bound by tradition. Slow now. Oh Whoa. my gosh, I love it. <laughs> no one here. Oh, I like that bridge. They must have removed the body already. Let's look around. Make sure they didn't miss anything. Oh, give me that. Okay, sorry. What's that? Hobnailed boots, multiple sets of prints. Ducal guard, clearly. Let's see where they went. Ooh! Pretty. Walked along the shoreline. Perhaps the body lay on the bank. Beautiful. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I was trying to get away from the gagging of the drowners. 
Anything taken that really by just the ties it all together, though. Ah! Yes, Scurver. Got guests. Scurvy. Why do they look like that? Oh, I'm so happy this is crazy. I love this music. Thanks, King Jared. I'm happy too. Appreciate that. Called For Honor for Toussaint. I love it. I do have the soundtrack downloaded on Spotify. I listened to it the last time I was on a plane, like a couple months ago. I was listening to it on the plane. But yeah, they have it on Spotify. Ooh. I don't have it on Steam though. Wait, who are you aiming at? I want Tiger on the plane? Tiger doesn't go on the plane. No. Oh shit! They put spikes out when they do that. That's the Drawn here by the oh smell of blood. Let's keep looking. They're like the the ones that explode. What are their names? Oh, the music stopped. Dang it. Oh my gosh. Did you banana? No, I don't know what that means. I'm so sorry. I missed it. I don't know the reference. I'm sorry. No. Worse than rock beans. Yeah, apparently. Okay, let's go. Notice anything interesting? Alas, nothing. Junk that came down the river. You must keep searching. Okay, okay. Sorry, I was really into the music. I'm taking my time. Only blood-soaked scraps left of the victim's clothing. Good quality um, cloth. A wealthy victim, correct? Looks I it. I don't remember. I thought you were talking about my cat, Tiger. <laughs> Blood. Guardsmen pulled these nets out of the water, then cut the mutilated body free. Ew. Disgusting. Gonna dive in. Make sure they didn't miss anything. Oh no, better not get my clothes wet. Oh, so blue. So pretty. Oh, give me some clothes. Let's go. To some clothes. I want to say it very Frenchly. Thank you so much, Wayne. I try my best. Ew, what was that? A wooden spoon. Witcher Gear Speedo, that's what I'm saying. So true, Fry, so true. Anything else? Silk kerchief, monogrammed DLC. 
A noble's accessory clearly need to comb the bank. DLC. <laughs> this is DLC. Good one. <laughs> Good one, CDPR. I see what you're doing here. <laughs> you're silly. Uh, what are these? Wow! I'm not wearing clothes until I get all Tucson clothes. Sorry. And I was like, so why would it ever be that? Oh my gosh. What are those? Stop. You're right, I might overwhelm Nets the Duchess. Nets were attached here. Look, a boat was launched here. Guardsmen must have loaded the body parts onto it, taken them somewhere. Need to find out where. I'd like to look at the corpse before it starts to decompose. The inn. Its patrons must have seen the guardsmen. Which direction they took. We should ask there. Okay. Oh, who the heck is that? Someone's watching us. Seems we've got ourselves an audience. You think this surprising? The locals will tell the children of children they do not have yet. Of the day a quartered corpse was pulled from the river. Well, I found a monogrammed handkerchief. Thank you so much, Tarek. Pong, thank you so much as well, you guys. Thank you. One thing. Found a handkerchief in the water. Monogrammed DLC. Mean anything to you? Delacroix? It cannot be. Was it he the beast slew? Seems so. Knew him well? Long past. We were close friends once, but our paths diverged. Mm. He was a man of extremes, standing by his companions, no matter the odds, fighting his foes to the bitter end. Foes? He have a lot of them? He did. But I do not see what that has to do with the beast. Ah, Geralt, you've struck a raw nerve. Memories of a time long past to which I'd rather not return now. I understand. We can talk later. Let's go to the tavern. I shall have oh to God, leave you Return to me, court. Barely got cry. back to Tucson. A knight in the service of her illustrious highness knows no rest. In fact, I'd feared I would return too late to fulfill my duty. Yet it seems I've arrived in the nick of time. <laughs> Fine, I'll put clothes on. No pants, though. Okay, fine. I'll put pants on. This feels appropriate. No. Oh my god, look how he jog. Oh, I love how he jogs. <laughs> With all that weight on, Once honestly. you have finished examining the corpse, oh. be sure to report to Anarietta. Anarietta? Her grace, the Duchess. I forget myself at times. We address each other by our first names in private. Never in Palmrin's presence, however. He finds such familiarity offensive. Uh -huh. A watering hole for traders, smugglers, boatmen. But you will find no better crayfish chowder in all Toussaint. Pretty. The has called in someone to tempt the beast. Pretty. Killer from the north. Yeah, me. What? With no lads brave enough? Not of as course brave we as have, me. But bravery is not enough against the beast. So true. Dark powers. Hold on, I gotta check this. Oh my god, there's a lot. <sighs> Essentially being free in the game of your edition, I know. So true. Herbs for embarrassing afflictions. Of late, as is often the case during tourney season, the incidence of diseases afflicting the nether regions has increased. I can offer an ointment that will soothe all such unfortunate itching. Thank you. Wanted, the white wolf. 
The Witcher, Geralt of Rivia, known as the White Wolf, is wanted to serve as a guide. His potential employer guarantees an ample wage for this unusual contract. For more information, you should go to Count Belladol's Bel temporary base camp in Toussaint. We kindly request all other persons not present themselves at said camp under the pretense of being Geralt of Rivia. Count Belladol was not born yesterday and can easily tell who is a witcher and who is faking it. All those journeying, journeying to his camp in shabby costumes with the wooden swords strapped to their backs can save themselves the trouble and turn back. I rattled. Notice from the Ducal Cam Camerlengo. Calling all knights errant and other strongmen. The duchy. Is it duchy? How do you say it? Duchy needs you. Your aid is required. Bounteous rewards are in the offing. More details about at the Ducal Camerlengo's offices on the Knights Dormant Square. Oh my god. Announcement from the Office of Internal Revenue of the Duchy of Tassan. Um, announces a limited live auction to be held regarding the sale of a piece of developed real estate and accompanying our agricultural land located in the Caroberta Woods region. I'm being left to the Ducal. I want to buy property here. To the unique nature of the Belgard estate and its important role in the production of wine, bringing great fame to the Duchy in all corners of the world, only subjects of the Duchy of Toussaint shall be allowed to participate in the auction. Oh. To all knights errant and other such men of arms, be it known far and wide that the services of voluntary keepers of peace shall be needed. Minor problems are expected to arise. Require application of direct physical force. Okay. The Great Claire Gwent Tournament. Oh my gosh, we should probably step up our Gwent game. Gwent Tournament is Count Monnier's supreme delight to announce a Gwent Tournament from, of his organization. Wishing to take part should register at the Pheasantry. Let the games begin. Contract for Witcher Witches. Caravan Escort. The Buclair Cooper's Guide is seeking an individual or individuals willing to escort a merchant convoy through an area threatened by the Great White Terror. More information can be obtained from Gaston Magath at the merchant's camp in the forest to the north of Carinata Vineyard. Magrim Poulain, Under Secretary for Threats and Risk Management, Buclair's Cooper's Guide. Duke or clerks looking for help. Did It'd I not be good coin to be made. Oh. No spoilers, chat. Some duchess. All right, we got that. This one, this one, this one. Dark secrets tells oh. you from a fairy tale duchy of Tucson. Big game hunter. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, so now we have... All these, ooh, I like the color of them. All right, let's go. I love this music. Ooh. All right, let's go. By my troth, could that be the musty scent of fresh pate? Naught else, Sir the Peyrak Peyron. I see time has not dulled your senses. We would be honored if you would join us. Uh, your companion as well. But why do I not detect even a whiff of crayfish chowder? No soup today, on account of there being no crayfish. Oh. I reckon you've not heard, but all I caught was a corpse. Uh. <laughs> I awoke at the crack of dawn, as I do each day, but when I looked up, I beheld a blood-red sky. This corpse is precisely why we're here. For the man whom you've invited to join you at the table was summoned from a far-off land by her gracious magnificence. He is tasked with tracking and killing the beast. We invited two men to join us, yet since Sir the Peyrak Peyron in temperament is more akin to hare than hound, I surmise the other is the hunter. With whom do we have the pleasure? I'm Julia. Oh. I'm Geralt. 
Name's Geralt. A humble introduction. You've clearly not tarried long with Sir de Peyrac Peyrin. Spare us the petty insults. Geralt is a master of the witchering trade. He has questions concerning the beast's last victim. I was the one to find the corpse. Oh my gosh. The sun had just risen when I awoke, sat straight up in my bed, looked out the window, and beheld a sky red as blood. Ask Geralt, please. Or we shall be here till he, winter. He just repeated the same thing again. So the sky was red, and then what? Must have been early in the morning. Went to check your nets, and then... I stepped out of my hut and saw... By my troth, to the point, man. <laughs> you found a body ensnared in your crayfish nets. We know this already. What happened then? <laughs> Did you see anyone nearby? Did you spy anything noteworthy? Anything at all? Anything. Not a soul around, just me. As for noteworthy, hmm, well, well, what did you see? But be warned, if I hear the sky was red again, I saw a head popping, eyes bulging, the tongue blew and popped out. Next to it, a hand rocking upon the water. Get a good look at the body parts? They gave me such a fright, I bolted to town fast as my legs would take me. Then returned with guardsmen who told me to keep out of their way. They had a hard haul. The parts were so tangled up in my nets, they were forced to cut them. Where'd they take it? Need to examine the body. Know where they took it? They ferried it across, then loaded it on a cart and hauled it to a cellar at Corfo Bianco to keep it cool, see? What? Why, Corfo Bianco is Baron Rassel's estate. When he learns they've turned his cellar into a morgue, he'll set his hounds on them. While you were caliphanting about the north, his was vineyard that? was Wait, auctioned off. <gasps> who were you, girl? Who was that? Woman who just left. Didn't see her before. Didn't notice her walk in, either. Doubtless Linnis, the innkeep's daughter. Okay. But hold, Geralt, because this is an outrage. Rossell's vineyard was auctioned off? Inconceivable! It is no secret the Baron had gambling debts up to his ears. It finally came time to collect. His creditors auctioned off his property. The Ducal Chancellery bought it, in fact. Rossell now bunks with his brother in Vico Faro. I told Rossell he'd get his comeuppance. How long can one draw on past heroics? His creditors must finally have to find that his promises meant nothing. Such are the times. Today's knights are pale shadows of the heroes of yore. It's true what mm. they say. God sent the beast to punish us for straying from the old paths. Oh my goodness. So people are saying beast is divine punishment? So folk think the beast's divine punishment. Knights have turned their backs on the old customs. Where they were defenders of the duchy, they're now defenders of their own tushes. <laughs> Why, you insolent. Let him talk. The Duchess trades in titles, grants honors to ill to us. We've strayed from the path of virtue, lost the gods' favor, so the gods sent retribution. Don't listen to that nonsense, Geralt. It's rehashed street preacher Codswallop. Yes, the rebel rousers have been sprouting up like weeds lately, each offering the same bill of goods. What else do they say about the beast? They say anything else about the beast? Besides it being a messenger of the gods? The two Santois are no fools. They see clearly the beast kills on days honoring patron saints. Okay. Picky monster. Well, I'll go examine the body. Thanks for the hospitality. Time I examined the corpse. Corvo Bianco lies a short way from here, near the tawny grounds. Oh, my God. Just follow the road and you'll arrive. Not coming with? Oh, yeah. Duty of some sort calls. Some sort? <laughs> Her grace bestowed a great honor on me, even before we departed for Velen. I'm to play the hare during this year's game in the palace gardens. When you see me in my costume, <laughs> you will wet yourself laughing. A little tempted to ask a few questions, but it sounds like a long, complicated story. One involving lengthy digressions into local history and tradition. So... See you later, Milton. <laughs> and good luck. I've had enough talking. All right. Wait, what is that, though? 
<laughs> Information for tournament participants. Oh, oh, seventy whole months. By my quick <gasps> I love Sarah. Definitely not enough time. So here's to many more days, months, years, eons, and even years of knowing someone as wonderful as you. Oh, you Sarah, you stop! Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you are so patient, waiting. Hi, Sarah. Thank you for 70 months. I love you. You're the best. I, you are so wonderful. I'm so happy you're in my life and you're my friend. And thank you for subbing for so long. And let's be friends forever. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. <laughs> thank you. You're so sweet. Forever. Okay. <laughs> you were waiting for so long. I know. that. <laughs> You're so polite. Thank you for letting him finish talking. I was like, <laughs> it was them talking. It wasn't Geralt's fault. It's never his fault. Geraldo. Dear fellow Gwent lovers, allow me to present myself, Count Monnier, the organizer of this Gwent tournament. As you most probably know, I have introduced a new faction to our beloved game, Skellige. I'm convinced this step shall add variety to our pastime, further perfecting its perfection. I should be delighted if you choose to play this faction during our event. What? They made a Skellige deck? Yes. Oh my gosh, thanks Sarah, you're the best. Noble woman, hello, lovely lady. No, perhaps yes. Oh, I don't know. What's she reading? Good health to you. Oh, thank you. Oh my god, people are pleasant here. Hello. Witcher. That could only mean trouble. Oh. <laughs> Life is beautiful. Yes, queen. Greetings. Hello. She tried to ruin my day. <laughs> Did you say something? Pam, pam, pam. It's so blue. I love it. What are you smoking there? Have your chit chat with someone else. Okay. How's it going? Well, will you stay long? Hopefully. Oh no, more spitting. Oh no. That could only mean trouble. Shut uh, up! You said that I already. Be off. I will be off, not because you told me to. Okay, wait, hold on. Actually, oh. I don't. Oh my. Uh, normally, I'd encourage you to try our famed fisherman's chowder, but alas, we are all out of crayfish. Could replace them with something so else. Perch, for example. Replace so crayfish with fish? Uh, I beg you. What next? Vinegar for wine? Parsley for thyme? Huh? Yeah, Carol. Your nordlings are a pleasant lot, but about cuisine, you know nothing. You tell him. Heard any rumors? Got What's any the gossip? Tea? What's Fisherman the tea talking says? about anything interesting? Yes, about a Nortling who would replace crayfish with pike. <laughs> Asked a serious question. Come on. Hmm. And the tactless one. I do not if stroke on my clients, and I certainly don't repeat anything I chance to hear. Show me what you got. Show me what you got in stock. Oh my god. What the frick? Why do you have... Why do you have all that? Uh... I don't even know what I need. I don't think I can even make anything else. Thanks. So long. What's in the world today? He just sold me his whole Gwent deck. <laughs> uh, alchemy. What do we need? We have enough mandrake cordial. We need cherry cordial. I don't think we're even gonna be able to make the rest of the decoctions, or not decoctions, oils, because they all take cave troll liver, and I don't, I haven't fought a troll in forever. Like, I don't even know when I fight trolls. I'll have to figure it out. And then cockatrice stomach. Okay, so we definitely need Redanian and Terry. Wine Just rolling in the hay. Greetings. 
Show me what you got in stock. Oh. I know, I don't want to kill trolls, they're cool. Vidalian and Cherry. Trolls are friends, not food. Thanks. So long. Yeah, hi Zach. We just started it. Whores. Whores everywhere. Oh, she's a boy. Uh. Oh. What's in the works today? Swilling wire. Alright. Oh my god, the birds sound so pretty too. Okay, so this will be go to Corvo Bianco and examine the body kept in its cellar. Let's do that first. Let's get the body examined. And then we can try to do some of these. Where is this? I want to see where everything is. Okay, so that's the auction. We should go see what that is. Okay, and this is the details of the contract down there. Okay, just wondering where everything is. This is for the Gwent tournament, which we could do maybe eventually. I don't know if I'll do that. We'll see. We'll see. And then this will be up there too. Okay. Let's go examine this. Sarah, stop it. You are. I love you. <laughs> Look it. Hello. I want to wear the Fury. Whenever I say Ophiri, I think of Guy Fieri, and it really upsets me. This just feels like it goes. No. <laughs> All is in order! What? Oh, it's so bright. Rochi! No, I don't. It upsets me. Sounds of a fight. Have to hurry. What the freaking heck? What the hell? Hello? What Damn the hell? Killer must still be here. What the hell? I was chilling. What the hell? Busted ribs, blood from the ears. Took a solid hit. Throat torn open by man like jaws, man like, except for long fangs. Oh my God. Massacred by a vampire. Ah. Not an Ekimara, though, or a Fletter, Bruxa, gotta be. Ah. Killed with a single blow. What the hell? Woman from the inn was wearing this coat. Is she a vampire? Read the Bruxa B Siri. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just, it's her? Oh my god. Vampire oil, moon dust. Steer clear of any places where you can hear several different kinds of birds at once. The sound means you're entering a Bruxus territory and can kiss your life farewell. I was just commenting on the birds. Fortunately for all of us, Bruxa are rare creatures, mostly far from population centers. Decide to live near men of white crowds and emerge from their shelters only at night. Could almost be mistake them for delayed travelers hurrying towards their night's lodging. Subtle details give them away. Their close ties to birds, their piercing voices, and their breathtaking speed of their movements. They dart with uncanny speed. Moon dust. Looks like sharp claws to attack and easily break through an opponent's sonic attack. Their sonic attacks, which knock down and stun their prey. Black blood, moon dust, could be lifesavers. In the cellar, gotta be claw wounds from five separate claws, spread of a small human hand. Attacker had no trouble knocking over the cart. What is going on? Why is this happening? River muck. Carried the body in this cart. Why are they trying to get mess with the body and not get me to see it? Footprints. <laughs> Small oh. bare feet. Lead deeper into the cellar. Oh. Fell down the stairs. Broke his neck. Her 
struggled against the wall with great force. Oh my god, she is destroying them. <gasps> Hello? <gasps> Took a lot of strength to batter this down. I'm right behind her, but I'm gonna keep checking on stuff. Used this to batter down the grate. The human? Ma'am? You. Saw you at the inn. Why you got your booty cheeks out? I know what you are. Don't know why you killed these people, though. Clearly wasn't for their blood. Don't have to fight. You are wrong. I love the music. What the hell? What the hell? No, oh, I love the music. I cannot let you leave. His vampire oil. Oh my god. Excuse me, ma'am. Let me moon dust you. Take that. Dodged it. I was like, there's no way I can just do that. Oi! This. Wait, what even is black blood? I don't think I've ever used that. Or I don't remember what it does. Vampires and necros start bleeding when near the witcher? Say no more. In addition, the witcher's blood injures and knocks them back when they wound him. Oh! He's cool. Ah. Oh, I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. Oh my god. Wait. Killed oh, she bled out. To get to the body. What was she <laughs> doing at the table, though? What the frick? Cool. <gasps> I have Toussaint. I have to sew gloves now. They don't look that special. I got to sew gloves and shoes. What's going on over here? Uh, stinks. Oh, Waterlogged. Both hands amputated. Body was quartered just as I thought. We'll start at the top. Laid in water for some time. Head swollen, and something took a few bites out of it. Hmm. Something in the throat. A pouch, bulging.
indulging with coins. What the hell? Why? Elf guardian Florins from several different provinces. If the murderer did this, means we're dealing with a sentient thinking beast. Okay. Body was chopped up after death. Blows struck with great force, but bones sliced through, not crushed. Creature that killed him had long claws, sharp as a witcher's blade. First sank its claws into the victim's heart. No Bruxa did this. Third hand. A spare? Except it's clearly not the victim's. Guardsmen must have not noticed it as they picked everything up. How's this possible? Still warm. Blood still flowing? Several monsters? monster species can regenerate. Never heard of that happening to their severed limbs, though. Or of their limbs seeming completely alive after so much time. Cool. Examine the tissue more closely later. Might learn something. Cool. So, murderer was clearly a monster, but not a Bruxa. But then why'd the Bruxa come here for the severed hand? And who does the hand belong to? Why the hell's it still warm? Now, how it shoved down the victim's throat. What's the significance? And why was he chopped up into pieces? Lots of questions, no answers so far. Need to know about the other victims. I'll ask Palmerin to get me in to see the Duchess. Girl, thank you so much for thinking out loud so that we can be included in your thought process. I really appreciate that. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, cool. He would be a good streamer. He lets out his thoughts nicely. What's over here? Nothing. I want nice armor. Oh my god, the birdies. Oh! Speaking of, I mean, it's really basic, but it is... Oh my god, I kind of like it, though. Well, we don't have pants yet, so we have everything. We have everything to sort except pants, right? We didn't get any yet, did we? No, I don't think we did. No. Well, guess we're meeting the dust just like this. Sorry. <laughs> like I'm just trying to fit in and wear the right clothes. Oh, that's so pretty and green. Let me in. You got pants in here. Do, 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 do. Whoops. I want colorful clothes. Do you think Geralt's ever embarrassed? Are you kidding me? Look at him. He's not embarrassed. Oh my god, I really like it here. It's so pretty. Okay, let me... Some to take you to the Duchess. The street of Corvo Bianco. Lost in the mist of time, we have only a bare legend about the vineyard being founded by the owner of the Pomerol Estate's son, who had been disinherited and exiled with only a... Carvenier sapling to his name. The modern history of Corvo Bianco begins with Master Bolius, who settled in the vineyard in his eldest, elder years. As a young man, Bolius had headed a division of sappers for north, or dead. Life lost its savor for him, and he began to think constantly about death. He sold his estate to Count Crespi. The very day he signed the last piece of paperwork, he died. Oh my god, sad. I don't like that. Oh my gosh, look at the stream! Oh my god, I love it here. <laughs> it's so pretty. 
doesn't. All right, I have to be right back real quick. Well, there's no music. I can't be right back till there's music. I am. Is it gonna storm? What does that sound? Oh! Something fun's going on in there! Tourney grounds! Oh, fun! Okay. Oh my god, so fun! Unless they're fighting to the death or something. Alright. Be right back. You guys can look out there. I'll be right back. We'll keep going. Do, 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 do. Have you seen these prices? I must have drunk a crazy potion. In need of advice? You're not even real. Can I go in there? My lady, I have a fierce wish to fight fiercely in your name and fiercely ask your permission to so do. My permission thus I grant you, sir. Just unto the knight returned from his days at war. Yet the last for whom he'd find and yearned had married days before. What do you mean already doing Toussaint Vixie? I just started it and it... I've played the entire game. It's been like 200 hours. My prices ah. are the best this side of the Yaruga. I know, everybody's so colorful. Hey. Hi, Tiggy. What are you doing? Kitty cat? Ah! Who do my eyes ah. spot for oh, this? Where have you your journeys taken? But virtue always trumps the lady. But this place is at a side. Like your best friend. The story of this challenge is a race. Sounds compelling. Would you betray the nature of the quest in question? Upon Lac Selavis waters floats an island. Only smell, only smell. There you will learn all. Only smell. Destiny calls. Godspeed till next we meet. Hey. How old is my cat? Uh, like four or five. I'm not sure. How old are you? Need to speak to the Duchess urgently. All right, you scamps. Store is done. Go find your parents. But the Pomerine, what about the story of Ritik and the dragon? A tale's for another time. But take a good look at the man who stands before you now. This is Geralt of Rivia, 
the master witcher who lent his valiant hand to the defeat of the giant Goliath. Master Witcher, is it true virtue always trumps villainy? So true. No, not always, but it's worth being good. That's not true. always. Could go either way. Sometimes virtue wins, sometimes villainy gets the upper hand. Still worth being good. But why? If it doesn't mean you'll win. Palmer and Story, think back. A decent man attracts other good folk, makes friends he can count on. A rogue? Well, he can only count on other rogues. And who would you rather have for a friend? A man of virtue? I must agree. Now, that will do for questions. <laughs> Go find your parents. Her enlightened highness has doubtless arrived at the tourney grounds to watch the battle in the arena. If we hurry, we'll be in time to speak with her before the spectacle begins. Lead the way. Sorry, I'm just chomping in the mic. I'm gonna mute it. Who's fighting? Elf Guardian gladiators? Close, but not quite. As you will soon see. Someone's gonna fight a Shalemar? With only some elves on its tail to confuse it, slow it down? Whatever is the problem? The beast is a gift from the Emperor, no less. Whole thing's dangerous, shouldn't torture it like that. Nothing's in my... You shouldn't torture it like that. I'm calling PETA. Shouldn't torment the beast. How would you like to be dumped in an arena, blindfolded with a string of bells dangling from your ass? Pity a monster. You, a witcher. I slay Just monsters who I are kill a to humans. You're out to humiliate one to entertain a crowd. No knight will gain any glory from this. So true. Who'll face the Shelmar? Who's going to fight the beast? Guillaume, the young man you met. Yeah. Mentioned he promised his heart's capture a monster trophy. Great love demands great sacrifices. Hmm. Well, let's go see the Duchess. Let's go. Hello, Hammer. So true. Oh my god. Dedicate my imminent victory to fair lady Vivian. Oh, pretty. Oh my gosh, is she not into him? It's begun. The fight shall have to end first. We must wait. Well, he better not almost die and I have to save him. That's gonna be so awkward. Ew, that thing's scary. Careful. No. Damn it. <gasps> Look out! No! Oh my god, stop it. Don't actually die. We have to help him. Yes. Good job, girl. <sighs> Oh my god. Gotta keep it down. Can only tell where we are when it hears us. Oh my god, he can die? Oh my god, oh my god, I didn't know that he actually can die. Okay, let's get it together, please. Ooh, she's pretty. Okay, we gotta read that after. 
Wait, what other vampire did we get? Oh, the Brooks of Corvo. You're a relic? Ooh, I love this music. Good thing I decided to wear pants, so true. Down came the witcher in one mighty pound. In fight to the beast, it's I don't know what that uh bomb was. Out, out, the witcher's life was snuff. All our hopes, alas, had turned yeah, he to can dust. die. I don't like that. The fate of the beast has been weighed by the gods. Soon the witcher shall triumph against all odds. What did it say for? It was Samum, right? Yep. Okay. Right. Hello, yes, this is my first playthrough. Welcome. The witch awaited till the time was true, then twelve danced and spun, struck the Ooh. monster right through. Oh no! Wild and country! Well, I don't have any left. <gasps> Don't! Stop it! What's happening there? What the hell? What the hell? Drink up the ocean and set fire to the wood. <laughs> One HP. But nothing in this struggle can come to any good. What was all in the monster? Get it, get it, get it! Then naught shall have come of man. Oh, I was like, I'm gonna die if I get hit right now, and I got it right now. <laughs> frick. <laughs> oh, frick. Worst timing for that to break. Okay, so we had to interrupt that, because when it's on its back, you can hurt it more, but... Alright, nice try, nice try. Gotta keep it down. Can only tell where we are when it hears us. Oh, when it hears us? I didn't even hear you say that. What the frick? To give fight to the beast. I was being quiet. Can you stop yelling? Out, out, brief flame. And thus the witch's life was stopped. All our hopes, alas, had turned to dust. What the hell? The fate of the beast has been weighed by the gods. Soon the witcher shall triumph against all odds. Show me what Don't. you got. I don't know how to get him. The witch shall wait it till the time was true. Then twelve dust and Come spun. after me, not him. the monster that fool. Stop going after him. How you like that silver? Drink up the ocean and set fire to the wood. For nothing in this struggle can come to any good. Like a bow who leaves some. What the hell I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. So the witcher wound the Shelma, then its foul heart hurt. Get him! Get up! Get out of the way! Dodge, dive, flee, faint! His razor strikes belly! Selma's cries ring aloud! Blood transforms into jelly! What the hell? He's gonna kill him! I'll start this shit over. Are you dead? Oh my god, you guys. Kill him. Too stressful for me. Don't kill my friends. Ooh, I like that. The Shelma lies defeated by Geralt of Rithia, master of the witchering trade. That's me. Behold, as the last gasps of life seep from the beast. 
I don't like killing for sport. Master Geralt, do what you must. Finish the deed! Uh... Uh... Okay. Oh. It suffered enough. We gotta put it out of its misery. Oh my god, sad. I don't want to kill it. The master lies slain! The fight is done! Praised be the victors! <laughs> I don't want to kill it, but I wanted to put it out of its misery because they were torturing it. <laughs> sad. I know, I know, I know. I'm sad. I don't Guillaume, like it. The Why'd they make me sad about that? Die. I'm fine. Not hurt at all. Vivian? Smile as befits she a girl doesn't even and care. keep silent. Speech clearly paints you. She approaches. I'm not the monster. Wow, look at them. I want those dresses. Girl, we must Are you not entertained? Talk. That's what I was going to say. Right? Vivian, you shall talk later in the medic's tent. Geralt, magnificent, breathtaking. Your grace. We knew that to summon you was a brilliant idea. We are delighted, raffish, to have struck upon it. And I'm truly uh, honored. Yeah, so See to our young hero. Hop, hop, for we must make off with Geralt. We should talk. Stop looking at me we like that. We had been long awaiting your arrival. Had nearly lost hope. Then suddenly, that entrance, so spectacular. Thank you. Oh my god, that's the longest dialogue choice I've ever seen. A fight against the Shelmar, arrange something like that for sport, bad idea. They are real pretty. Your grace, Shelmars are dangerous creatures, even to knights in full plate armor. Nonsense. In Toussaint, knights have battled beasts for mere glory since time immemorial. True. Guillaume suffered a few bumps, scars, and bruises, but in return gained eternal glory as he who slew the monster. Mm -hmm. What about the crowd? Say the Shalemar had vaulted into the stands. Would have been a massacre. Geralt, though we value your fortuitous intervention in the arena, we would remind you your services have been retained. And as shall soon become clear, you will be generously compensated for completing another task altogether. Maybe I should have let it live so it did jump into the crowd and shown you what could really happen. <laughs> Anyway, about the contract. Your Grace, my contract. I'd like to discuss it. Naturally, but not here. We shall need Damien. He let the investigation pending your arrival. But whatever could he be? Come, we must find him. Okay. Tell us, have you come alone? Or did Viscount Julian accompany you? Uh... Wish to see Dandelion, your grace? Oh, that's... Yes. Oh, okay. I mean, no. Ugh. That's Dandelion. I was like, wait, I know that name. Yes. But solely to tell him we regret. Yes, deeply regret rescinding the death sentence we so justly handed down upon him. Oh, I gotta read their thing. If we could turn back time, we would make certain he sat in a tower till he rotted. No, we would ensure he was broken on the wheel, then drawn, hanged, and quartered. <laughs> ah, the very man we would entrust with these tasks. Damien de la Tour, captain of my personal guard. Hello. Your Grace. Witcher. Greetings. Um, oh yeah, sorry to tell you, Bruxa killed some guardsmen. Sorry to have to tell you, but the guardsmen handling the last victim's body... I know already. The creature in the cellar of Corfo Bianco. Was it the beast? No. A Bruxa. A kind of vampire. Hmm. Not the beast, but tied to it in some way. You know this how? Through careful analysis Witcher. of the evidence, both on the riverbank and at Corvo Bianco. Do you mean to insinuate the investigation thus far has been sloppy? Geralt insinuates nothing of the sort. We must listen to him attentively. Thank you. Anyway, 
I'm gonna need two things, information and access to a laboratory. I examined the body of the beast's last victim. Might have found something, need to analyze it. A quiet place, that's what I could use most right now. And maybe the help of an alchemist or a mage. Also like to hear all you know about the previous victims. Take it Sir Delatour is my man for that. Firstly, call me Damien, please. Secondly, you should know I spoke against summoning you here. I've heard much about you. You bring trouble, or thus far have, You don't always. even know me, then. And we've enough trouble as it is. Yet we are capable of defeating the beast on our own. Okay. Without an outsider's help. Bye, then. I've no doubt about it. Damien, we settled the matter of the Witcher's employ some time past. Definitively. Since you have broached it, nonetheless, let us discuss Geralt's pay. Are the legends true? Do witchers usually demand that which you find at home, yet did not expect? What? Do witchers usually demand that which you find at home, yet did not expect? I don't know. Um... That's a sentence. That which you find at home. The, mm, interesting. I would say. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, I'm gonna have to say since I have no idea what you're talking about. Not quite, Your Grace. Law of surprise. Okay, law of it's surprise. It's something we invoke at times, but rarely. Usually we just take gold. Yes. See? Disappointing. This law sounds rather romantic. On the other hand, on returning to the palace, we would likely find impatient petitioners or a set of sample fabrics for a new dress. Poor rewards both. Mm. I fear you'd not have much use for any of the surprises we are likely to come upon. Oh, no, I Thus, do we've want decided surprises. you shall receive the deed to a vineyard. Corvo Bianco, and a sum of coin. You will doubtless consider this adequate. Title to the vineyard shall be given to you at once. Oh, Brett. Surely you'll need lodgings while you hunt. Yeah. The coin, however, will be yours only once you have slain the beast. I'll get a house. Lovely, generous gesture, Your Grace. But, uh, Corvo Bianco, isn't it the Duchy's temporary morgue? Is it now? The Chancellery has bungled things again, we fear. Not to be left unsupervised for one instant. Yet, in its mood, a morgue should present minimal problems to a witcher. <laughs> What's more, nothing enhances a wine's reputation better than a grim legend. Thank you, Your Grace. I accept the contract, of course. But as I said before, I'll need some information. Hi, Strandy. Thank you for 109. And Pemmin, thank you for three months. Hi, welcome back. Whoa, it's stormy out. I just heard thunder. Thank you. Welcome back. A hundred and nine months of me to you. Love it. All right. First victim. What do we know? How did it start? Who was the first victim? Crispy was the first to die. He was famed once for his many glorious tournament victories. Gucci. Then he grew old, hung up his sword, and took to winemaking. Crespi was not loved by the wine merchants. He was ruthless in business and thought to cheat many a time. He asked us for a dispensation from all court ceremonies. We did not grant it. We could not. Once you've taken the oath of a knight, you remain a knight till death. How'd he die? Where'd they find the body? Quite unusual, the circumstance. He was at a feast when suddenly one of his fellow feast goers noticed he was missing. The town watch found him an hour later. On his hands and knees, propped against the town pillory, his sword hanging from his neck. He had died of wounds inflicted with claws, not a weapon. Blows of great force. So he died suddenly, but the body was on its knees, meaning someone posed it. So it seems. Okay, second. Second murder. Tell me what you know. In the city, there are certain nooks. No one reasonable ventures there after dark. Ramon Dulac's corpse was found in one such place. With the first murder, 
Terror gripped the city. Yeah, its inhabitants grew wary, kept to safe areas. Consequently, news of the second victim came to us from a group of concerned cut purses. Criminals fear the beast? Hmm. Telling in a way. Take it you've excluded the possibility that Ramon died at the hands of these bandits. Do you believe me, an amateur? Not hands, but claws killed Ramon Dulac. The wound was deep, clean. His body was found in the gutter, dressed in nightshirt and cap, a pillow placed under his head, Ew, and freaky. his sword replaced by a bed warmer. Ramon de Lac, a knight who but a dozen years past was an advisor to our father, the Duke. Someone went to a lot of trouble to make him look ridiculous. Maybe revenge was the motive. Hmm. It's not out of the question. Dulac had shady dealings with the criminal underworld. But no one ever came forth with concrete proof of any misdoings. Hmm. Okay, so both older knights. So, first two victims were knights, best years behind them. The same could be said of the third. Sir Delacroix was wont to claim that in modern times, knights face new challenges. Enterprise being the latest addition to the chivalric virtues. He made a veritable fortune in the grain trade. Palmerin even nicknamed him Sir de la Stinci. <laughs> Found a coin pouch on his body. Yeah, Contained florins true. dating from various times, hailing from different provinces of the Empire. Delacroix loved coin, true, but had no patience for numismatics. Huh. Seem to be more and more similarities between the victims. Lots of similarities between the victims. All the bodies were found in strange places under extraordinary circumstances. Seems the murderer, whoever or whatever it is, has some meaning to convey. These were honorable men. We are horrified by the disdain, the disrespect with which they were treated. These were knights of Toussaint. Blast it. Might be the point. From what you yeah, say, true. none was a model of virtue. Ever considered that's what the beast's trying to draw attention to? All the murdered men were knights who swore fealty to the five chivalric virtues. And even if Knights of Toussaint swear fealty to what virtues exactly? Honor, wisdom, generosity, valor, and compassion. Why are those? Five virtues. Why are they so important to your knights? Strange question. Your grace, forgive me. I'm a foreigner trying to understand another land's customs. You are forgiven. According to legend, the virtues we cultivate were bestowed upon us by the Lady of the Lake. How we truly came to espouse them, none remember. In Toussaint, we believe men of low birth should be simple-hearted and obedient. We expect much more, however, of hmm. our knights. They are to be soldiers and courtiers, lords and servants. Thus, the need for clear moral guidelines. At the time of his dubbing, a knight vows to demonstrate throughout his life honor, wisdom, generosity, valor, and compassion. Beast denouncing moral decay. Beast seems to be pointing up moral decay, denouncing it. Victims were all humiliated. Might have been murdered to emphasize their lack of specific chivalric virtues. Uh -huh. Honor, compromised by the pillory. Wisdom by ridicule. I was gonna say Generosity that. Generosity by a coin pouch shoved down a throat. It seems to fit, true, though not perfectly. Can't discount the theory if it's on the lips of everyone in town. Say our reasoning's right. Next murder will be just as showy and denounce the victim's lack of the fourth virtue, valor. We can also assume that victim will be an elder knight. Let's think. At the moment, all the knights are either at the tourney grounds or in the palace gardens. Our annual hare hunts shall begin there shortly. Have you heard of the custom? Milton mentioned something. Seemed excited to prance around in a bunny costume. Not sure why. Hang on. Strange circumstances, a knight advanced Don't in years, kill him. the He's famed my cowardice friend. of rabbits. Could it be that simple? Is Milton de Peyrac Peyren the next victim? No, Milton maybe. also knew Delacroix. Told me so down by the river. Damien! To me something so obvious. De Peyrac Peyren, Crespi, Delacroix, and Delac formed a knightly team. It was years ago, but... Well, there we go. So what's that mean, a team? What'd they do? They were a team? They were close friends, tightly knit, and as such, earned the trust of our father, the Duke. 
We often witnessed him turn to them with delicate matters. Later, okay. their paths diverged. Unlikely to be a coincidence. Beast must know it too. It's a lead, I'm sure. Okay, well, we need to find Milton. Your Grace, we need to find Milton immediately. Rather problematic. You see, the garden entertainments are due to start, and he's disguised as the hare, hiding somewhere, waiting for some tipsy courtiers to find him. The hare's hiding place is a carefully guarded secret. What the hell? We must call off the game at once. First and foremost, we must remain calm. Okay. Damien, order the garden searched immediately, but discreetly. By no means can we disrupt the festivities. Panic will only incite the beast to strike sooner. Oh my god, how exciting. Scary. And you, Witcher, follow yes. me. Okay. My gardens, my night, I shall take the fall. A murder is mm. out of the question. I will not allow it. Not near my palace. Hell yeah. Horses! Ready our horses! Oh my god. Oh. Your grace! <gasps> okay. Hell yeah. I kinda like her. What the hell? What Why the hell? Should... Your Highness, I. Mind it doesn't get wrinkled. All right. Let's go. She's a leader. Hey! That is silk! Be careful! What? Give it to me! <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Slower. No, not slower. Geralt. Your grace seems right at home in the saddle. Long may she live. Move it. This way. Through town. Try not to lose your way. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Right. Take care. <gasps> it's so pretty. Good. I'm yelling, but I love it. Oh my god. I can't even look around yet. It's like a whole new game. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. Clear the path. Clear the way, I said. Some boat? Is this part of the game? It's here, just round the corner. Hurry. We must go to where the game is being held. Wow. The participants must find a unicorn's horn, a golden fish, and a phoenix egg. With these in hand, they can deduce oh, where geez. the hare, Milton, hides. Means we need to find those things too. We've no other option, but time is of the essence, so we shall have to break the rules. Okay. Oh my gosh, they really just be making us look at Around all this here, beauty. it's wine, wine, and more wine. But me, I prefer brandy. Oh my gosh. On second thought, through here. Whoa. Sorry. Oh my God, I love her dress. It looked like I shall show you where the Fiona. hunt plays out. I'm sure. Then we will split up. You will get hold of the unicorn horn and the golden fish. While I nab the phoenix egg. That will be quickest. Okay. Uh. Unicorn horn? The unicorn. How do I catch it? It's terribly skittish, true, but I'm sure you will find a way to earn its trust. It runs around over there. Look. Ah. <laughs> Golden fish. Do I need a rod or a net? Please, Geralt. It's not a real fish. Look there, towards the water. See the lights? The hunters are trying to hook the fish from boats. You must simply dive in and find it. Okay. The oh, Colton no fish and the horn both contain things or clues that will help us find Milton. Once you have fish and horn, find me among the other Phoenix egg hunters. All clear? Then let's get to it. Yes, ma'am. Oh my gosh. That was abrupt. Wow, it's gorgeous. Okay, sorry. I keep yelling because it's beautiful. Okay, wait. We real quick need to read... Oh my god, there's so many new characters. 
She's so pretty, I love her. If this world has ever known a ruler who enjoyed the absolute admiration of her subjects without the need for systematic repression or a particularly cruel hangman, it was, without a doubt, the sovereign of Toussaint, Duchess Anna Henrietta. Called An... An... Anarietta? Anarietta? By those who knew her well, she was the widow of the late lamented Duke Raymond and the one-time lover of a very famous and talented artist who would prefer to remain anonymous. <laughs> I wonder who's writing this. A few years prior, when the Witcher and a band of friends were visiting Toussaint, Anna Henrietta had had the pleasure of meeting Geralt of Rivia, when a mysterious beast began, began attacking her quarter, courtiers. Courtiers. The Duchess thus knew exactly whom to summon. While searching for the beast, the Duchess proved that when the need arose, she was able to throw off the chains of convention and get her hands dirty with direct action alongside the Witcher, even if she had to do so in a state of relative disability. I like her. Damien, he's kind of a jerk, but I don't know. One of the people Geralt encountered at the Clare Court was Captain Damien de la Tour, the captain of the Ducal Guard who's absolutely and unconditionally to say unthinkably would be unfair, yet not entirely inaccurate, devoted to his position and worshipped the ground the Duchess walked on. If you want my personal opinion, he was most definitely besotted with her. I mean, can you blame him, though? Ow. He came across as a typical soldier, i.e. a thick-headed lackey who, seeing girl, immediately decided he must prove he had more mess or prove who had the more massive unmentionables. Girl treated this challenge with dispassionate superiority, yet accepted it nevertheless, and in doing so earned himself another enemy. Guillaume de Lanfal, oh my, was the very model of a knight errant, the placard boy for Toussaint, if you will. When Geralt first met the young man, he was valiantly tilting at a w That's what his hair looks like under there? Is it? Oh my gosh. That is a style. <laughs> Massive unmentionables. See you, Soupy. Thanks for hanging in. When Mill, which to be fair, turned out to be hiding a ferocious giant, getting himself into trouble clearly counted among Guillaume's favorite ho hobbies. The second time Geralt met him, he had to rescue the knight from an enraged Shalmar, trying his best to rip him to shreds in a packed arena. Wounded yet grateful. He asked the Witcher to meet him about, or meet with him about a very urgent matter. I know. Milton, okay, so that's who this is the bunny. That's who we are trying to find and not get murdered right now. She plays somebody in the Netflix show? Oh, that's cool. I haven't watched the show. Milton was a baron from Toussaint and a member of Anna's inner circle of knights. The good-humored nobleman never met an overloaded banquet table he failed to unload of its burdens, yet nor did he ever shirk a fight against heavily armed bandits or any other enemies of the duchy. Geralt had met Milton years ago under very peculiar circumstances that deserved to be recounted properly and at length. The roads crossed again when Milton came to the Witcher as the duchess's envoy to ask her hero to journey with him to Toussaint. Palmerin, not all knights errant in Toussaint were embodiments of virtue, but if I had to choose one among them who did personify their chivalric creed, it would be Palmerin de Lanfal. He is all the more admirable for the fact that years ago he was no stranger to the pleasures of eating, drinking, and making merry in a variety of fashions. With time, however, he abandoned vice and drew closer to the knightly ideal. Geralt re realized this when Palmerin came to him as an envoy from Anna. The old-fashioned and somewhat naive knight immediately made a good impression on him, for while he did take formalities and cour courtesies a tad too seriously, he was anything but pompous or grandiose. Professor Shakeslock. Oh, this was... The other day. Oh my god, so fancy, I love it. Yeah, that was the other day. Hi, Cardix. Okay, thank you for hanging. We'll see ya. Alright, thank you. I just needed to make sure I knew all I needed to know about the characters that we just met. 
your reputation precedes you, Geralt. Thank you. I'm gonna jump off. Oh, never mind. There's a ramp. I was gonna jump off. Look! <gasps> your Highness. Take good oh, care of yourself. Please. Thank you. Wait, where'd she go? Hello. Oh, then we've to look by the water. No nooks there where one could hide. It's the game. Oh. All right, let's go. Look for the unicorn. Aren't we lot curious, Trousers? Have you noticed all the guardsmen in the gardens? Is something afoot, do you think? It's a possibility. No. We must keep a keen eye on them. Don't worry about it. their attentions to the Vanticles, but parade about in turns. Perhaps an apple will work. Or some sweets. We would you. not be in this predicament, dear sister, were you still a virgin. What? Do you really wish to have this conversation again? Here and now? Hush, or you'll what? spook the beast. We shall try the sweets. Hey, folks. Gonna have to ruin your fun. Sorry. <laughs> Who's that? Sorry. I need to get this. <laughs> Can I please have that? No, please! Oh my gosh, why don't you just axie him, Geralt? Where'd he go? Come here! Ah, uh, almost had it. Come on, stay calm. Did that work? Oh. Shh, calm down. Easy now. Thank you. Oh, clue. Okay, cool. I was wondering how we would know, so they have clues on them. Well, that's hardly fair. <laughs> Sorry. Flagrant cheating is what it is. Sirs, we must teach this scamp some proper sportsmanship. Um, no. I didn't break any rules. Listen, I didn't break any rules. True. He won fair and square. Thank we you. We were unlucky. That's all. Yep. We must try to grab the next clue. <laughs> I'm not the witcher you're looking for. Oh, Gardens thank you. Gardens are huge. Yeah, You're better off on the horseback. Unworthy. Entirely inappropriate behavior. A complete collapse of social norms. How uh, fares your health, sir? None better. Kitty? Oh my god, I love it here. I want to live here. What is that? Or work That's not a cat. No play, right, Witcher? What? Hello? Oh, this should be easy to spot once oh. I'm under. Aww. It could have been. This looks like a place Did someone just dive in the water? Perhaps that's the way to do Perhaps. Alright. Mm hmm. Underwater fish candy. What the heck? That one looks gold. Get it. <gasps> what the hell? You're gonna have to give me that. Hey, wait. Stop, it's important. <gasps> King Cormorant, sire, accept this offering we bring. Prithee, cast upon us your merciful eye and bear before us its secrets. As the moon its heavenly course doth trace, in my domain I await that moment of grace when a soul of good or ill repute Brings me a gift, fitting tribute. <laughs> a key. <laughs> Why, you bomb botched wretch! <laughs> oh my God. ruined the game! Disgraceful! I'm sorry! <laughs> I just had to do that, I guess. 
Yoink. Ew, that's ugly. Oh, sorry. <laughs> My first keyframe. <laughs> Alright, now meet the Duchess. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we can do that. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't cry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry. The Duchess gave me a gave me permission, okay, it's fine. What well, give me that? Me. I can't see. They say a great deal about you, Witcher. Mm -hmm. The I? light is positively useless. Alright, where we go? Okay, so that was a peacock! You guys are so right, An you knew it. Direct one? Animal experts. She's right up the road here, okay? okay. The future of art. I've got it. Well, I've got the stuff. Ah! Oh, sorry. Wow, you can see so many stars here. The sky even looks there. The moon is huge. I mean, the moon's always huge in this game, but oh my gosh. You zigney on it? Oh my gosh, it's like, oh. Uh, how do I muster the strength for it all? I love it. It's beautiful. Take good What's care of price? yourself. No buts. No buts about it. I wish only. Forgive my oh. wife. If you please, Your Grace. We do not please. We act out of the highest necessity. All shall be explained later. But it's against the rules. I am the rules. So true, Queen. Geralt! At last. Got a key and a clue. And I've another. Show me yours. <laughs> Who wrote this drivel? I begin like a groan, hollowed out with ease, then end like a mouse with a head of hard cheese. <laughs> Some place cramps. <laughs> I begin like a groan, hollowed out with ease. Then end like a mouse with a head of hard cheese. Got, got no idea. <laughs> Why are these stars so funny? Got no idea. I'm like a groan. I've got no idea. Too cryptic, this riddle. Got no idea what it's talking about. Then be silent and let me think. <laughs> Look, if we take row, hollow it out and fill it with ease, the letters, that is, we get green. Then mouse, but starting with what heads heart cheese. Why, it's greenhouse. Hmm. That is... Pretty clever, and it sounds right to me. There are several greenhouses in the gardens, but only one with a door that locks. And the key that to it was looks crazy. just like the one we found. She's so smart. Greenhouse it is then. Let's go. That was crazy. She had it. <gasps> Level 39. <laughs> what the hell? Wait here. Ah. <laughs> Level 39. That was crazy. I can wear Viper gear now, yeah. I didn't even bring it though. Hopefully I have a stash at my house. Oh my god. <gasps> no! We actually were too late. No! <gasps> oh, frick. What the butch? Oh my god. What was that? Oh my god. Oh my gosh, Christ of the Caribbean. <laughs> okay, girl. Oh my god, I love this. This is so cool.
I'm here. Mm. Hello. This belonged to you, maybe? It did, but you may keep it. I've a new one. Thanks. I do not know you. I've done you no harm. Yet first you butchered a Bruxer who was dear to me. Now you pursue me. Why? Are you serious? You've killed four innocent people, at least. And you? How many innocents have you cut down? This isn't about me. Exact conversation is not about me. <laughs> not here to talk about me. Yet that is exactly what we are doing. So, did they send you after me? Who are they? What do you mean, they? Duchess hired me. You've been murdering her subjects. We do that. <laughs> Is it as simple as that? I would ask you to convey to the Duchess that I've but one victim left. But you'll not get the chance. Oh, really? Oh, he's cool. <laughs> Yeah, he's freaking me out. Hello, Zas. Okay, we're not killing him right now, for sure. Again. I love this song. Look at him. He's not even a vampire. Gruesome monster attacks. Wait, am I using a silver sword? Oh, I guess I'm using a silver sword, so kind of confusing. Because he is. But beasts aren't usually, so that oil doesn't matter. Wait, I didn't even look at the... Oh yeah, nothing. There's nothing against him. I can't even axe him, maybe? Cool. To stay where you were. Regenerate. I know you're in trouble. I can help. I'll help myself. No, he's my friend. Yes, Geralt. It's me. Who? Regis? I... You all right? All is well. All's in order. Wounds such as these heal on vampires in moments. But we've not seen one another in ages, my friend. At least in human terms, that is. How's this even possible? Last I saw you... We... I was a bubbling, name. shapeless smear, having been rather spectacularly melted into a column of a certain castle. In somewhat better shape now, as you can see. 
Hardly peep for, mind you, but were I human, folk would think me a demigod, I dare say. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm I love sorry. how he talks. What happened? It was my fault. Oh my god. I never got a chance to apologize. No need, Geralt. Bygones. I did not have to join you on that expedition. No one twisted my arm. Fun. Booker is from Booker Games. Oh, books. Oh, cool. So I'll get to read it soon. Well, someday. Don't tell me which book, though. Because I have, I'm only on the last wish. How'd you reach in? Oh, my God. Spoilers. I feel like I knew his Miraculous name. Miraculous regeneration. How do you manage it? I had help from the one you hunt. Him? How? And what have you been doing all these years? Not the time nor place for such stories. I suspect we'll get a chance to speak at ease and at length later. Now, however, we must deal with the reason that brought us both here. Yeah, what the heck? You know him. <laughs> Local serial killer seems to obey you. Maybe you could talk him out of it, convince him to stop murdering. Why do you think I've come? It shall not be easy, as death laugh can be rather I stubborn. Don't. Though you must certainly recall that neither do I surrender readily. So that's his name. He's your friend? You might call it that. Though Detlaf is... How would you humans put it? More bestial than I am. But not to worry. I'm working on him. Haven't exactly done a great job with that. He's killed one night since I got here. At least three others before I arrived. For yeah. good reason, I'm sure. What the heck? Understand. Detlaf is not some decadent shit who kills for sport, or to assuage a dryness of throat or a dullness of mood. Well, he's just doing it because he... He thinks they deserve it? Hmm. You didn't expect you a pleasant surprise? Nice. Well, I'm so excited to read the book so I can know more about all of them. What good reasons could he possibly have? How can you be so sure? Don't give a damn about his motivations. Uh, well, how can you be so sure? Seem pretty damn sure of that. I am, because I know him very well. Okay. Was he a BF or something? What's going on? Despite appearances to the contrary, you two are quite alike. You've both noble hearts, yet you both are wont to perform ignoble deeds. When circumstances force you to, of course. True. Remember the year 964? Uh. That was three centuries ago. Blind fear gripped Rivia, Lyria, and Spala. Women and children were dying. Their mutilated, oh dismembered corpses littered the fields. Brute of Lyria. Read about it. Chewed up almost 200, then fell to a common mm. poacher supposedly armed with a dagger blessed by some prophet. It fell to Detlaf. Who then found a poacher asleep in the brush near his snares and dropped the fiend's corpse at his feet. And thus, a legend was born. Okay, so he killed it. Then found a poacher asleep in the brush near his snares. Why did he kill the monster? Huh. Vampires rarely help humans. Must have had his own agenda hunting the beast. You err. He slew it for one reason alone. The monster killed a lad who once in the street had offered Detlaf an apple, expecting nothing in return. Aww. Terribly noble of him. You do not have a monopoly on altruism, my friend. True. Vilgefort melted my body. Detlaf found what was left. As per our codex, he had a choice. To leave me where I was, or to care for me and nurture my remains. He chose the latter. Regenerated me at no small expense in his cool. own blood. Do you know what that means to a vampire? The gravity of the endeavor? Probably same thing it means to a human. You owe him your life. Much more than that. The act itself made us blood brethren. A bond so strong humans cannot even imagine. Which is why I know something ill is afoot. Always had an overdeveloped sense of empathy. Each vampire has a unique talent. One they hone over centuries. It's precisely what renders us so difficult to classify. Detlaf's trump card is his herd instinct, his tribal propensity. In point of fact, he prefers the company of lesser vampires and shuns that of humans. If he walks among you, killing egregiously, it can only mean something's upsetting yeah. immensely. So what did those knights do? 
to someone that he loved or something, not loved, but like in his pack. Loved people. Anything specific? Some set of things that'd be likely to set him off? How should I say this? Detlaf doesn't understand men, their world, its rules, its conventions. He's naive in a sense. He doesn't comprehend your games, knows not what it means to lie, deceive. Huh. Suggesting he's maladjusted, inventing his rage. <laughs> I'm suggesting maladjustment can at times breed conflict. Okay, sure. But is it the case this time? I cannot say, but intend to find out. I love the way he talks. It's just like smooth and like love it gotta find him before something upsets him even more and all Beauclair is awash with blood well we share a cause then Perfect. just like the old days oh my God. not entirely I mean when I find him you know I know you've a contract on his head yet your true task is to stop the beast killing not necessarily to kill the beast am I right uh, all in all I guess sure sure let us find him by the time we do, I hope I'll have convinced you Detlaf is no monster. Fun. Fine. All right already. But for now, evidence is stacking up against him. Hear that? The posse. Knights must have tracked me here. I prefer they not find me here. I'd make shift quarters at Mer Lachaise Long Cemetery. We'll meet there. Okay. See you. Cool. I love this. Hello, guys. Witcher, we flew here as fast as our courses would carry us. Yet I fear we're late all the same. Pray, where is the beast? Still investigating. About to inspect this site. Mm. Withdraw your men before they trample all over the evidence. Please. <clears throat> Sirs, we must let the Witcher do his work. Milton's murder cannot go unoffensed. Cool. Oh my god, chill. Wow, okay, wow. That took a little turn. Oh, I'm excited now. I really like this. I like this DLC so far. I just want to know what happens. What's happening. Mary, can I stop dying, please? Yeah. He did kill Milton. We didn't get there in time. I feel like I never wear my griffin armor. Maybe because it's hideous. I'm just kidding. It's not that bad. Phew. Okay. Anything else here? I'm still bleeding. I'm like still stuck in. Uh, what's it called? Oh, I got actual Toussaint gear. Let's go. Okay, those are the same as the other gloves. Oh no. Oh, they're a little different. I got Toussaint pants. Let's go. I'm gonna look so good. I still need a shirt though. Ew. Ew. Puffy pants, let's go. Oh, what's that? A love letter. My beloved Clara, you have no idea how happy I am that the warehouse has been closed. How good it is to know each other we wish, or how good it is to know each time we wish to embrace, no one shall stand in our way, neither my father nor your mother. It shall Never occur to them we rendezvous in this shuttered warehouse. I already laugh at the thought of them clamoring our over rooftops. Like before, or looking through the rushes by the river. Even now, writing these words, I feel how much I would like to see you. I hope it will be like yesterday. I cannot speak for you, but as for me, I would just as well we never set foot out of this, our warehouse, our wonderland. Lovingly, your Albert. Wait, I'm sewing. I handmade those so. What? What are you saying? 
I don't think I can read. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> can I get over there? Oh, I can't. Dang it. Oh, wait. No. Your job is fine. No, you job. Oh, okay, great. Thank you. Excuse me. Um, how do I leave? Oh, that's the door. I thought the blue was the door. I couldn't see because of the debris. We must allow the Witcher to ply his trade. What? Oh my gosh, I'm overwhelmed. That was awesome. Okay, I'm gonna do... I'm not gonna go meet him yet. What is that? Dukul Camerlingo. Dukul official who doles out rewards for contracts. Well, let's go check this. Where's the music right now? You should never think before you type. You should just let it all out forever. That's the be that's the beautiful way to live. I'm also a bitch. I swear. <laughs> oh my god. Long live Duquesa Anna. <laughs> Vaccine you Yeah, no. That was a joke. Sir! Sir! Oh. A letter for you, sir! Oh thank you. Letter? Who from? from? Can't rightly say, sir. I was just to deliver it. Perfect. <laughs> Stamp says postage paid, so get lost. What the hell? <laughs> Here. And thanks. No, sir. Thank you. And I truly hope I'll be off surface again. Dearest. I suspect weighty affairs, rather than merely the wine festival, have drawn you to Toussaint. Perhaps you'll find time to probe a certain matter in spite of this. I recently My came love? across the mention of one Professor Moreau, My love. a scholar in Beauclair, who conducted research into Witcher mutations. Though the details are rather murky, as is the location of the scholar's laboratory, his journal could contain more information. It lies buried with him in his tomb. I enclose a map I found in the book I happened upon. Though less than completely legible, I trust it will prove useful nonetheless. I felt this matter could prove of some importance to you. Thus I dispatched this letter without delay. Whatever you decide, please take exceedingly good care of yourself. Your Yen. My love. Oh. Mm, a professor who studied Witcher mutations. Might actually be worth looking into. I didn't listen to a single thing she said. I was too. Boars. <laughs> Boars everywhere. <laughs> My love. Dearest. Okay. I did listen, but not really. Oh, you're Yen. Oh, I'm gonna cry. I love her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got a <laughs> but 24 BT teams. <laughs> oh my god. I'll buy it again. I forgot to resub to it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh. oh, I love her. Such witty fair. Okay. Why does love John you just saw? Okay, so mention a Professor Moreau, a scholar in Claire. Conduct research into Witcher Mut- Oh yeah, this is the Witcher Mutations. Okay, yep, got it. Oh my god. Hearing her again? Yeah. There's the music! Oh Our my god, I love I it! Oh my god, let's live here forever. I can't. It's no fuss! Water, no wine! Why are you yelling? Ugh. 
It'll de the sun will rise soon. Now a fan of accordion music. I always have been. My dad played the accordion. What can I do? Wow, it's so beautiful here. Look at that. That's art right there. Oh. I can't stop smiling. <laughs> this just feels like a right out. Mm hmm, like French Cafe, totally. I'm just gonna run around. I don't even. What is that? <laughs> Who are you? Ah, oh, the serendipity. I'm so glad you're back. Vineyard owner. Hello. Master Witcher, what luck to happen upon you. Hello. Got work for me? New contract? Uh, of the contract in question, you acquitted yourself beautifully years past on your last sojourn in Beauclair. I was in a bit of a bind at the time, do you remember? Yet I swore a solemn vow to pay you in full one day. Guess it rings a bell. Sadly, you went on your way before I could settle matters with you. So, I took your coin and placed it in an account for safekeeping. Mm? Hmm. What kind of account? A savings account. Oh my gosh. At Chanfanelli Bank. Interest? You need but walk in and withdraw. The sum must be rather substantial by now. Let's go. Thanks. Head over there first chance I get. Gotta stop by that bank. Let's go get our money. All right, thank you. Good to see you again. They say that I'm at the resort has such a How, how is this the DLC? Like, how is this not the game? This is so cool. I love it. You really ought not to repeat what you hear. Nothing to see here. Move oh. along. Okay, sorry. I'm just taking it all in. I want to cry. I oh. love this game. Where do I go in for this? Where where are we? Oh, it's right here. So, oh wait. How do we get in there? Don't dare to think you've got carte blanche here. We'll go back to that later. Everything's so pretty colors. I can't. Oh, they got drunks here, too. A smashing place we have. Yeah. Wine by the bell. I love Peace it. And Lovely views. Nice tune. Aw, he actually comments on it? I've never, like, I've never noticed that. That guy looks like like a ghoul from Fallout 3. Especially what is wrong with his face? Are you that, are you all right? I haven't heard this in Novigrad. I don't think so. in front. There he moved. The sun's coming up. We've seen the day come when our culture 
be threatened by the very means of his own cultural reproduction. Excuse Whoa! me, sorry. Oh, there's an alchemist over there too. Notice boards right here. Okay, that's where we're heading anyway. Perfect. Wow, it's so pretty. Test yourself with the trials of the virtues, dear reader. Years pass and times change, yet all that is good and beautiful still requires a defender. Come to the isle on Lac Salave. Salave? I don't know how to say that. Salave. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> And test the rightness of your character during the trials. If you pass, you shall receive a reward. Fisticuffs. Hey, tough guy. Smack down your brother-in-law and now you're feeling invincible. Neighbors step aside when they see you coming. Got violence in your heart. <laughs> and then perhaps it's ta high time you fought for the title of Brawl Master. Oh, no, not this again. Defeat three champions and you'll get the honor of facing the maestro himself. I suck at the fist fights in this. Maybe c'est la vie. That's what I was thinking. Armed escort wanted. We wish to hire a person or persons with good weapon skills who, for a reasonable fee, will escort us into Alberta's cavern for exploratory purposes. I love this. No, I've never played Final Fantasy. I'm going to start with Final Fantasy VII Remake in probably sometime in the next couple months, but not yet I don't think because I've had seven remake for a long time and now I want to play it before part two but we've got a while to that so we'll see knights errant claim the cave harbors no dangers so we don't expect trouble trouble but better safe than sorry Augusta Grandmaster Armorer, Master Armorer in Beclair, seeks brave man to help recover long-lost diagrams. Contract is highly dangerous, as such will be lucratively rewarded. Wanted, discreet specialist, professional to investigate mystery concerning Reginald de Aubrey's statue. Requirements, indomitable work ethic. Absolute discretion and refinement in supernatural situations. Desirable, immaculate presentation, aesthetic sensitivity, and knowledge of modern sculpture. Please see Rolande de Fleckfeise. Period of art. Contract quarreling at the cemetery. Since no one from our residence committee seems to think it is their responsibility, I'll write it myself. This cannot go on. An infernal racket coming from the cemetery is driving us mad, and no one is doing anything about it. I know we all hear it. Madame Bouquet admitted it keeps her awake all night long, and she lives further away from the cemetery than any of us. If there's any witcher who can put an end to all the screaming, brawling, and insults, I'll pay him from my own pouch. We have Charles Lanzano at the Clever Clogs. That'll be me. Lark so much. Oh, it is Saint Louis. Okay. Is that Someone needs an escort. I have a lot That's of quests. I do huh? often, but might be worth investigating. <laughs> so much. Let's go to the bank now first. Drink us some thick oh, puss. About to burst. And do you know the curse? See on the Dutch's banners: red, white, and rosé. Let's go see what money we have in here. Need to come back during the day. Oh. It is the day. Need to come back during the day. All right, we'll sleep. Yeah, we'll meditate for two hours, I guess. Seven a.m. They should be open. They should be open. Whoa! <laughs> oh, pick her at all. Kind of reminds me, the music kind of reminds me of like a Studio Ghibli movie. No two ways about it. And the and the colors of here remind me of them too. Need to come back during the day. Bitch, what does it look like? Oh, the Witcher, the one that Duquesa summoned. They sleep in here. I get it. Your boots could use some ah! polish, vacant. Hello? No safer place than a bank. Catch 22. He's literally sleeping, me, when I used to work at a bank. Bruno Reitenbach's pet.
patented systems. Building secure demeritium amplifiers, stifling auras, and other mysterious machinery guarantees absolute security against all yes? forms of magic attack. Can I help you? Including hypnosis, telepathy, witcher signs, and even spells. With us, no one will get the jump on you. Nice. Welcome to Chanfinelli Bank. Chanfinelli. Hello. Welcome to Chanfinelli Bank, where we look after your coin as if it were our own, and the customer's always right. How might I be of service? Oh, I love that. Um, oh, well, first, can I change some coin? I'd like to change some coin. By all means. I don't even know if I have any. Okay, like 179. We're still banked in a vault with lots of money you could swim in. No. There was a safe deposit box, but we didn't open those, obviously. And the vault had, like... Like, it was a lot of money, but a lot of money is, like, underwhelming. It wasn't, like, piles and piles, you know? Like, it was just, like... This much, you know? Just, like, in a little safe. In a in a vault. <laughs> it's like not that exciting. I'd like to withdraw some coin. Got an account here. Like to make a withdrawal. Naturally. Your name? Geralt of Rivia. Wait a moment, please, while I find the relevant record. Oh my gosh, she's so sweet. Such good customer service. Why am I nervous? What's going on? I feel like I'm like actually at a bank. Oh, hi, kitty. No safer place than a bank. I don't think that's a real kitty. Always. <clears throat> I'm afraid I can't help you. Extraordinary what? circumstances, you see. There's a note in the records. The account holder is dead. What? That's inaccurate, as you can see. It's some kind of mistake. The note is clearly an error. To reactivate the account, you'll need permit A38. For more information, please go to window number one. They're not gonna do this, are they? Am I gonna have to go to six different windows? Window number one. Am I really gonna have to? Am I really? Oh, an order? that. Yes? No. I'm not the one you need. Definitely. No way. Hey, wake up. Oh my no god. No safer place than a bank. Hello? Are you window number one? Can you help me? Welcome to Chanfanelli Bank, where we look after your coin as if it were our own, etc., etc. <laughs> How can I help you, sir? Permit 838, please? I'd like to reactivate my account, so I need a copy of Permit A38. Wrong window, I fear. Are you serious? What do you mean, wrong window? What do you mean, wrong window? <laughs> I was told I'd get permit A38 here. Please remain calm, sir, or you'll rupture a vein. <laughs> I love her tone. So just tell me where I get this stupid document. Perhaps upstairs in records uh, or downstairs in the archive. You must ask them, sir. Are you serious? Do just that. Collins. What Collins. can I do for you? I'm going down here. Whoa. Yes. Hello? You have a concern? I'm oh, not an looting order? anything. I kind of want to. Hello, can you help me? What is it? Folk are hard at work here. Permit 838, please? I need permit 838. Any chance you could issue me a copy? Fiddlesticks. I've just run out. Are you being serious? Wait, really? Of course not. In truth, I've never had anything of the sort. <laughs> this is the archive. Okay. Can we make a deal or something? Listen, say I made a small donation to a certain member of the bank staff. Oh, stop, girl. Stop, stop, stop. A bribe, sir? Shh, just How kidding. dare you? I truly just cannot kidding, help. This is the archive. Okay, bye. That'll be all. Thanks. Yes, yes, it's what they always say. And once you're upstairs, do tell them not to send every lost fool with a problem to me. I've worked Oh my to... god, this is so funny. Damn bureaucracy. 
Can I have this? Safe deposit box. Times are tough. Coins tight. I make matters worse. There are thieves ready to pounce on every moment of in inattention. Luckily, the gym... Finelli Bank has a solution for you. Put your trust in one of our safe deposit boxes, which are secured not only against normal break-in methods, but also against magic and telepathy. Don't tarry. Come safeguard your valuable valuables with us today. The rules and stipulations of banking. Our hey, bank is the pride of all Beauclair. What can I do for you? Can I go Good in day, here? Sir. Dang it. Working hard or hardly working. This is so funny. Can I come in All here? In order. Catch 22. Yes? Can I help you? Hello? Oh my god, I love it in here. It's so pretty. I'm not even mad. Are you guys in line? Excuse me. Sorry, gotta get through. <laughs> Hold there. What is this? Back off the queue, sir. No, that's okay. Hi. Welcome to Chanfanelli Bank, where we look after your coin as if it were our own. And the customer is always right. How might I help you? <sighs> Any document, please. Is there really a permit 838 or am I saying something that's making you guys not help me? I'm confused. This where I get permit 838? Naturally. Just hand me your form 202, please. <laughs> I'm gonna be polite, okay? Sorry, which form? Form 202. All right. Where do I get that document? Allow me to explain. Permit A38 can only be issued upon presentation of Form 202, as stated specifically in Ordinance N60. <laughs> please, go to window number one. <laughs> <sighs> Just came from there. Never mind. Be back shortly with Form 202. <laughs> this is pissing me off. I love it. What? You cut in front of me, sir. Sorry. I said sorry. What are you going to do about it? Nope, been here all along. Uh... Did no such thing. Been standing here the whole time. Is that so? You know you're the third today to try that ruse. I will not stand for this. Just you wait, I'll teach you some manners. Go on, hit me. <laughs> oh, gentlemen, if you wish to raise a ruckus, do it outside. Outside now. No, I waste my time. Now you're not even gonna be in line anymore. <sighs> true, true. Are we really fighting right now? Ba -da -da -da. All right. The dude. Bank. They're right in the game. It's the third time this week. I wager 10 on the one on the right. Oh my. I shall teach you the meaning of decency. What? Lost your nerve? Poor simpleton. Prepare to be humbled. What? He can't even hit me. I shall teach you the meaning of decency. I can't parry him because he doesn't. He's like glitched into the wall. There we go. Simpleton, prepare to be humbled. Oops. I shall take goodbye. Have a nice sleep. Uncouth, petty, Joshua cuts in line, then resorts to fisticuffs. <laughs> it seems they've settled their dispute. Poor simpleton, prepare to be humbled. You cut the line, sir. I did, and I'm um, sorry about it. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, back yes, to window so one to get form two of two. Come on. Where the hell'd she go? Hair bomb me. 
made. And to follow the scent could be the lead I need. This is so ridiculous. I love it. That little number likely cost me one month. Only one tattoo she got to learn. Come on. Where the hell she go? Airbaugh made. Need to follow the scent. Could be the lead I need. All in order? Hello. No safer place than a bank. Hello. So you see, she claims puffed sleeves will be in fashion next season. Excuse me. Got something I gotta take care of at window you one. cannot be serious. I too find it hard to believe. Excuse but... me. Can you not see what it says there? We're on our break. <sighs> Celine, darling, sign this for me, will you? Oh, uh, there you are. Listen, there's something you're I... You're on break. <laughs> ah, you try to be polite, it just never gets through. <laughs> oh, my... No choice, I guess. Need to wait till they're done with their break. Oh, my God. <laughs> my face hurts. It's so silly. How long you been waiting here, dude? Oh, it's pretty. It is the hardest. You must wait. They have the break now. Yeah, I see that. So, what do you hope to get here, my friend? Permit A38. Though, guess I need Form 202 as well now. Form 202? Easy peasy. Certificate P, now. That is a challenge. But as we are both forced to wait. Oh my gosh. Fancy a round of Gwyn. Okay, fine. <laughs> oh god, he's gonna kick my booty though. I haven't played. Why not? Actually, Let's I lay did play out. last stream. Now, that I understand. I'll start arranging my deck. <laughs> he's probably got a way better deck than me. Okay, uh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? When they have one of those. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, I have a question. Wait. Different Gwent music? Wait, so. So these have the same name technically? Does it. Does this play the other, or does it have to be the exact same card? Since they're both Contro Dim, or is it? You have to. It works. Like, if I play Contro Dim Darkness, it'll pull Contro Dim. Is that what that means? By finding cards with the same name in your deck and play them instantly. Pull the two pulls the four, but not the other way. Wait, what? Oh, thanks, Trance. I never thought about that. <laughs> um, we'll just see them. I'll just put them in anyway, because I don't really... Why do I have three siege experts? I only need one of those. Or two of those. Oh my god, I forgot I have a hero card. Or whatever. Wait, tell. I don't even know, remember what they do. <laughs> Next to a card with the same name to double three. I don't even know if I have another catapult. Oh, maybe. If you have more than one bunch of dumb cards, you get another one. That didn't answer my question. I think I got it. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of the rain card, maybe? Okay, epic. What's Skoytal's special stuff? I think I'll keep Decoy, even though I... Uh, I 
these are all kind of low, and I don't have that. I really want to spy. Oh, that sucks. That was bad. Then. What is that one? What's that mean? I think I lost last time I played against a squid tall deck. Agile can be pl oh yeah can be placed either close or ranged. Oh yeah, okay. Well, what's your thing? Draw an extra card at the beginning of the battle. Okay. Is there anything else special about them? Um, okay, so Frost is close combat, and then I have a Fog, which is ranged. Morning. Hey, Psycho. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna frost you, probably. Let's see what else you decide to do. So this... What is my other one? I don't know if I want to save that or not. You already horned. What was the other Gontor gem? Is it close or, or which range was it? I forgot already. It was middle, for sure. I might just do that, because it's only a two. And then if he plays another close range, I'm gonna just see if it works with the other one. Okay, so for sure it did, cool. I'm gonna do that, and then we're going to, ooh, okay. Okay, but, wait, are hero cards affected by weather? That sucks. Okay, well, if they load that up more, then I'll be able to frost, so it's okay, but. Oh my god, I love this music. Yeah, they're immune to everything. That's so crazy. Oh my god. All right. Um, I think I'm just gonna play the four, and then hopefully they do. And I'm trying to get them. To oh, is it even gonna add up though? Maybe I'll do a six. Okay. So if they'll have ten, no matter what, depends on what else they play. I hope they play more close range. Eleven, twelve. But then that's plus one. Wait, what did that do? Plus. So that'll be three. So that'll be 13 still. Sheesh. I'm going to. Mm, I don't know what I'm going to do. Let's just do this. I boiled. I'm done with the main story, but I just started. The main story. What am I saying? Of blood and wine. If that's what you're asking. Ooh, okay. Interesting. Why did you do that? What do I do? Do I grab one of mine back and then see what he does? Are you just gonna pass? What are you doing? Are you just passing? Why did you use a, a horn? That is the weirdest play I've ever seen. Why did you do that? I don't want to. I don't want to lose this round. The horn is sus. That's why I'm like waiting. I don't know what I want to do. I don't. Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna decoy one of mine and just see what he does. Wait, decoy, so decoy just swap with a card of apple to return it to your hand. Yeah, I'll just do that and just see, cause it's not like I have something that's like gonna use an ability. I'm gonna just see and just see what he plays. Like, yeah, exactly, debate more cards just to see. Oh wait, oh yeah, okay. Exactly, exactly. Beautiful, thank you. That's exactly what I wanted. Thank you so much, okay. Except now I won't be able to frost. Ooh! Okay, yeah, this is weird. I don't know what difficulty it is. Okay, um, but who knows? I won't be able to use my frost, but might, mm, I don't know. Might be able to fog. Hi, Alexander. Yeah, they do have more cards, but well, oh, why would you not? You're so mean. We'll see. Please go range, thank you. Cause I don't, I mean I have one range, but I have more. I don't even know if I'm gonna win. Oh, that's so rude. Why would you do that? I still might not even win. Simply with the math. Oh my god, I love you, I love you, I love you. So what are we gonna do? Somebody scroll past you. I'm going to cry, probably. Oh, I'm gonna lose. Fuck. <laughs> okay, um... Um, I'm going to, you have three cards left still? Okay. If I frost, one, two, one, two, three, four, and then they have, <laughs> I think I'm gonna frost. I have, I have to do the math. And then if I have fog, they'll have more though, but then I could horn my back row. Team 21. I'd rather not frost first, because what if he has... Frick. Maybe I'll just clear, because I'm not going to want to clear anyway. Probably, so I might do this just to see what he... Oh! See, this is what happens when I don't play a lot of Gwen. I have to think of all the ch the order of things. If I do, my leader card just pulls a fog, so that will cut the middle lane, the the middle lane. So then that'll make his equal to mine will equal four, but that's still not really. I'm just scared of his... Because he still has 11 more than me on the front. That'll take a lot there. Uh, that'll be one, and then I could double. I don't even know. I have to think about all the math. Should we do it? At least they should be done with their break by now. So true. I actually like this class a lot. It's so funny. Just do it? Wait, I don't know which one I want to do. Okay. Um, four. Okay, hear me out. Am I winning? Okay, I just want to see... I'm just doing that just to do it so I can see what they do next and then I can figure out more. <laughs> oh! 
Oh. Okay. Can we math? Is that it? If we okay, wait, what do I even have? Simple. Why did he? Do, why did he make me overthink this? What do you see? Okay, okay, okay. Why am I scared though? Stop, wait, I have to actually make sure I do the right thing. Okay, 20. That'll be it. No, we're not gonna do the front line. We're gonna. F Frost will be four for him and then. Oh my god, guys, doing this on stream is so scary. Just tell me what to do. I don't even want to do this. Five, 10, 15, 21. I think I'm just gonna freeze and then horn. Yeah, exactly. Frost then horns. Thank you so much. Freeze then, thank you. That's what I wanted to do, but I really didn't want to sit here and make sure. <laughs> Six, four, yeah, we're good. Thank you. <laughs> you guys are scaring me. I'm scared. That was so easy. Thank God. Thank God that was easy. Stress me out. Just a little Gwent at the, at the bank. Easy peasy. He still has three cards, not when he passed. He has zero cards when he passed. Ooh, I get so nervous when I play Gwen. Oh, I love it. CC's player, I see. Not really. Congratulations. Thank you so much. As your prize, I shall reveal to you my foolproof method for cutting through this bureaucracy. Nothing ever comes of using the normal channels. I have seen them try everything. Magic, hypnosis, bribery, nothing works. Might as well go if nothing works. There's nothing I can do. What the hell? Give me my money. Be kind. Be pleasant. Oh. This and only this. The woman here, she sits at her window 12 hours each day without hearing so much as a good day. Oh, I'll flatter her then. They love your bonnet. <laughs> I'll just be nice. But muster up some flowers, some perfume. <laughs> well, you will resolve your matter lickety split. <laughs> lickety split. Right. Certainly worth a shot. Ah, good luck. <laughs> Rest time. Oh my god. I'm always kind. Geralt is always kind. Hello, lovely lady. Welcome to Chanfanelli Bank, where we look after your coin as if it were our own, etc., etc. How can I help you, sir? My. Wait, <laughs> you're not even gonna. I don't even say. Just need the form. Need form 202 to get a copy of permit A38. Do you know that? <laughs> Couldn't have told me. Wasted a lot of time because of you. Carol! Please, sir. There's no need to lose your temper. I thought it obvious and thus needed no stating. The form will soon be ready. Name and surname? We well, didn't Geralt even of use Rivia. <laughs> I didn't even use this advice. Let me find it. Get on Gemel. Here it is. Geralt of Rivia. Sorry, sir, I cannot issue form two or two. Why? Excuse me. The applicant in question has been declared dead. Officially. Now do tell me, sir. How am I to enter that into the ledger? <laughs> Give flowers. <laughs> you just give flowers and don't say anything. Tell you the truth, I'm really just here to see you. <laughs> I don't even... Carol. Oh, I just want my money. Here, do you want these flowers, lovely lady? I don't even know what to say to her. I didn't even get it. Oh my gosh. Where's Vladimir when we need him, I know. I need him to take over and flirt. 
Honestly, here are some lovely flowers first. Got you some flowers, just to thank you for Aww. helping me with my file. Oh, but I... I shouldn't. For me? Really? Yeah. Match the color of your eyes. Oh, my. <laughs> you, sir, are quite the charmer. <laughs> ah, please, wait a moment. I shall fetch Master Cinfanelli. Perhaps he'll arrange something that excludes the paperwork. Does this happen in real banks? No, but I have a story about something like that. Uh, you tell him, Danny Disturbed, but no, always some bugger who can't stand to wait. Plow me, who's this? Hearty greetings, Master Geralt. You haven't paid us a visit in eons. Thank you. Been Queen. a bit busy, but I'm back now and I need your help with something. Of course. Now do tell, how can I help you? Um, I got a problem with my account. Got a problem with my account. Wanted to withdraw some coins, see, but... Nay, nee problem there. We'll get you paid up in a jiffy. I'm just gonna need to settle yon tiny wee trifle. Heard that already. Permit A38, among others. Oh, my hands are tied without them, Geralt. But I see you're a quick learner in the ways of banking. You'll get them in a heartbeat. What happened to my coin? Chanfinelli, no more excuses. Pay out my coin, now. Come on, Master Witcher, for why the ire? There's no need. We'll have it all for you. You just need to see the necessary documents. Got a document right here means a hell of a lot more than any of your forms or permits. Have a look. Well... <sighs> Her enlightened highness. Yeah. She's hired you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And as her personal emissary, I demand access to my account, right now. Uh, uh, aye, Master Witcher. This way. Thank you. So how's the trade these days, Master Witcher? Can't complain. Good for you, because in our neck of the woods, things are dark, dark shite. Wine sales are stuck in the muck and sinking deeper. It's the fucking wretched names, I tell you. Folk out with the duchy have me any notion how to say Cote de Blessure and all that. <laughs> it twists their tongues in bloody so? knots. Makes them ashamed oh, to ask for it. Uh, oh, the bank story? Oh. Done. Um, Deposit box 256. Last year on the right. Um, one time, these, like, college boys were at the bank because there were a lot of college students there. Um, and we had like coloring books out for kids and they were coloring them like for a while. I don't know if they were like waiting for their friend or whatever. They were coloring them. And then after they were colored, they brought them to me and just like gave them to me, like folded up or something. I looked at it and they were like two of them. I don't remember one of them was. They colored one that was like a picture of an elf or, not an, or like a gnome or something. They colored him looking evil. <laughs> with like a knife or something and it said I'm gonna kill you on it like the elf or the gnome or whatever was saying that um you can't do that especially at a bank so we had to call the police and stuff like I had to I like show I was like kind of weird like I think they're kidding because they were but like they just like colored them funny but like you can't really like the red <laughs> you can't really do that and I was just like this is kind of weird. So I don't know if we had to call the police and I had to talk to them and be like, yeah, they were definitely just kidding, but kind of weird um, and uncomfortable and kind of a weird way to flirt. I didn't press charges or anything. Obviously, like I wasn't like the cops were like, yeah, we'll just like scare them and talk to them. And I was like, yeah, good idea. But like good to be safe. But like it was weird. So that's like one of the gifts. I Actually, I did get people did give me stuff a lot there's this weird old guy who was like very very weird and he gave i don't even remember like random stuff he gave me a napkin one time that had like some funny quote on it about like drinking wine or i don't even remember what it said yeah so yeah so i didn't get a rose though that's it 
There better be money in here. What's going on? What's the problem? What the hell's this, Chen Yeah, Finale? what the hell? Box is empty. I knew it. Well, uh, coins got to circulate. So when we learned you were dead, Master, we, uh, circulated yours. Purchased stocks, bonds, invested in a few vineyards. Before we knew it, there was hee-haw left in the box. Really ought to call it what it is. You robbed uh me, plain and simple. Nay, Master Witcher, never! I wouldn't dare! Oh, you'd dare. And now you'll answer for it. Open the gate. Master Witcher, I'll pay it all back, every red copper! I swear it on my nana's beard! Oh my god! I'll rip that coin out of your throat if I have to, but let's, like, not go that crazy. You've got a week. Got a week, not one day more. Then give me my your money. You shan't regret this, I swear. I'll rustle it up. Have it ready for you in seven days. You mm. better. See you then. Oh my gosh. Okay, this quest was so fun. I mean, it's not over yet, but not me meditating for a week outside the bank. <laughs> Wait a week. We'll do that. We'll come back later. Oh my god, I love it here. Even the sky is bluer. The sky is more blue. And so oh my god. Still waters run deep. Okay, I'm absolutely obsessed with this place. We'll come back for I've our money. Always dreamt of traveling to the well, tomorrow we have a lot to do. No, someone asked if I did the other Gwent tournament. I did not. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, we'll have to figure out what we're going to do tomorrow. We'll definitely just follow what makes sense around here and do stuff. That was so fun today, though. Thank you, everyone. I'm going to stop here. Ah, oh, thanks, Michael. I appreciate that. Of course, thank you. Peak summer vacay. Okay, so where are we exactly? All right, so this is the city we're in. Over here. Fun. Mijo, thank you. Paying it for gifting five. Thank you so much. I'm sorry, what did you say? No question marks here? I guess you just don't. That was awesome. Thanks, Trance. Thanks, Drop. Thank you so much, Miho and Michael, for that support. Thank you, thank Eat, you. Eat, drink, and loosen your belt, for you are in two swords. Sounds good to me. All right, y'all. Did I just save? I will see you tomorrow. To traditional values and morals. That is the remedy for Tucson's problems, not two swords. Oh! Okay, the music stopped. I'm just gonna go to the main menu. But have a good night, everyone. Thanks for hanging out with me. That was awesome. I love it there. Can't wait to play more tomorrow. We'll do a lot of side quests and some of the main quests. We'll see how it how it flows. Thanks, everyone. Have a wonderful night, and I'll see you tomorrow. All right, you're welcome. Thank you, thank you. All right, bye.